Where would you roll in? We're rolling. Thanks for well, coming down, Baz. It's no worries, no problem. Any time. Well, I say any time. It's taken long enough, hasn't it? <laughs> Clearly not any time. It's got a notepad for you there. You it's know, like an want. elaborate game of battleships, isn't it? <laughs> There's a board come up. <laughs> it's funny what people write on there. Some people write nothing. Uh, call, who was it? Heartbreak Remedy played Noughts and Crosses. Yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to swear on your podcast? You can say I? anything you want. I can. I'll probably draw a big dick then. That's fine. That's, uh, what, that's generally what happens when if you need to go our band gets a If you need to go to the pen. toilet halfway through, that's fine. We'll just talk about We don't ourselves. record that, do we? Uh, we could do. Yeah, we could take a microphone with you if you want. <laughs> no, <laughs> That'll we'll, be a first. Nobody wants to see that. But um, oh, so, yeah. yeah, Massive Wagons, new album. New album, yeah. Full yeah. Nelson. Full Nelson, that's it. Tell us about it. When did that, uh, how, when did it get announced? Uh, friggin' hell, when did that get announced? Well, yeah, it's fairly been, recently. Yeah, it's be three, two or three weeks ago, I think. And it's coming out when? 10th of August. I knew that. That's a fair build up, hey, isn't it? I was hoping you'd ask me that because yeah. that's one of the few answers I do know. <laughs> nice one. So you're not you're not sort of hot on dates and remembering. Oh well, you know me. <laughs> I, I do know with, you. I just go with the flow <laughs> and hope for the best. So yeah, tenth of August. Yeah. It's, have you got uh, like a launch gig planned for it? Uh, not um, not as yet, but no. Some bands right. do, some bands don't. Oh, nearly had that. Oh, 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 oh. there's podcast twitchy, over look. then. He's <laughs> you know, he his te- brew over. Technical mm. equipment. He's like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my tech sense is tingling. Tech <gasps> senses are tingling. So, what is the plan then for it when it comes out? Have you yeah. got a? It's um, well, we're doing doing pre sales at the moment. Yeah, uh, and it's really selling well. Yeah, like it's really going well. Um, we're selling. Um, we're pre selling it with la- with some lanyards. You can pre sell it off this pre pre buy it. What's the phrase? Pre order it. Pre order it. Yeah, off this off Erex site. Yeah, uh, and they, they pull the vinyl out and everything immediately. Oh, vinyl. Mm, yeah, it's coming back apparently. I didn't think it went away, but you it know, didn't. No, apparently it's away. coming back. Um, yeah, but we're, we're, we're also, you can also pre-order it off us through um, these through cool lan- lanyards that Eric have had, have had made, ah, right. which, are, which are really cool things like, uh, and they seem to be selling really well. Cool. But so yeah. do, did you do it back at Axis? Axis Studios, yeah, you've been there, haven't you? I've been there a few times. Yeah, How many times is that there for the you? Magic Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call him Moby. This is recording. Oh, no. <laughs> How many times have we been there now? That's, this is the third third time, I think. Yeah, so that's yeah. how many times we've I, been I love, there. We love going there. I mean, the, we went there originally because of, uh, well, because of the Black Spiders, really. Uh, yeah. Great band, they're not with us anymore, unfortunately. They're not dead. <laughs> just, just not going. <laughs> <laughs> Died a fire crash. Not, not with us anymore, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> just not playing music together. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they recorded there. And yeah. They, and they're, they're fantastic. We love their sound. And... Uh, Matt's just the man, I think. Especially, it's it's better. The more you go there, the better he gets out of you, I think. Well, we like him because he's um, he, he every time we've been, we've been. This is the third album we've recorded with him, and every album's different. And he does strive to 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 learn. He says he's been doing it a long time, but he's always learning himself. And mm. He likes learning new things, yeah. and trying new things, and it's been a different sound every time. So, yeah, I don't want to remake the same album, do you? No, definitely not. So you excited about Same it then? Shit songs. You, is it is it done, mixed and mastered and everything? Uh, yeah, it's, it's all done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. We've been doing a little bit of. Um, we're back in the studio the last couple of weeks. Just. I thought I saw you back in the studio. I was confused. I thought you'd done. things up. You know, uh, it's, it's nice to have that luxury time to polishing do the stuff third and all that. Because it wasn't like that when you first started, was it? <laughs> we oh no no flip flip. Don't get you that like luxury time to fiddle about with it. No no we uh, when every band starts you just do what you you just. Scrap, yeah. to scrap together all the money you can. Was well, the uh, first one fire it up? Fire it up, yeah. We recorded that in Preston, yeah. I thought so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A guy called Pete Knight. It was, it was brilliant, and the guy, the guy did a fantastic job with what, with what he had to work with. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a lot of money and five idiots. He had never done it before. Because if I remember correctly, the first time you were at Axis, we were, were you camping. Oh, didn't yeah, have hotels. Expensive. <laughs> it was in like October or November. No, no, or no. It was okay. No, the f- <laughs> the hotels were. Like the cheap, well, Doncaster. It's yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna slag Doncaster on, but it's a, uh, it's a bit of a dump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's all, a fact. And the cheap, yeah. the cheapest hotels were twenty quid a night, which is all right. But yeah. it was the campsite was, <laughs> it was eight quid a night, and you could have two tents on it. Right. It slept about eight of us, you know. Yeah. Even though there was only five of us. <laughs> Yeah, it was eight quid a night for all five of us. I mean, it's, a, no, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Yeah. Two weeks we spent there, it was all right. It was in summer the first time we did it, so it was brilliant. Right, and yeah. It was great crack. Shower block. But then we thought, the next album, we thought, we'll do the same thing. We'll be smart. We'll just book... Save the pennies. Yeah, it was in December, wasn't it? 
<laughs> I thought that. That's we last, we lasted like... one night. We lasted. <laughs> <laughs> Banging at the door of the hotel. Give us yeah. a fucking room. Oh, no, well, actually, no. Uh, God love him. Ozzy from the Black Spiders, he's from Doncaster. Oh, right. And he, he'd heard that we were staying in the tents, and it was horrible. So he, <laughs> he, has a, he has a house. It was empty, so he let us sleep on, sleep on wow. the floor. He gave us the key and everything. Just let what us legend. have free run of it, yeah. Oh, top, brilliant. Top man, yeah. But, yeah, so lyrics-wise, do you do all the lyrics? Lyrics, have you, yeah. Have you always done all the lyrics? Yeah, I've done always. I've always done all the lyrics. Yeah, yeah ever, apart, apart from Jody on the last album, which Adam wrote. Um, oh, okay, right. Yeah, but yeah, I've done. I've done all the lyrics. Yeah. How How do you find that? Is it? So, are, you, are you like? Is that something you always wanted to be? Someone who does lyrics, or is it just? Is it just? Oh, win a fucking way? lottery, don't I? Not do any of it. <laughs> 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 Quite honest with you. No, yeah, I, I like it. I like writing lyrics, and it's not something I've always wanted to do. No, but just um, sort of fell into it. Yeah, as it's just something you have to do. I, I like it. Yeah, I found I like it. You know. Yeah. Somebody had to do it, so I can tell some of the lyrics definitely re- reflect you. Like <laughs> <laughs> you come out of some of the lyrics, like S W T and some of your yeah, previous experiences. That's that's not about me. That's about he who shall not be named. No, but it's like you know experiences that you've not necessarily you've had, but you've been made aware of. Oh yeah, well, well yeah, yourself. You 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 write songs. Yeah. You write the lyrics for Dynamo. Yeah. Well, there you go. You you have to. I don't I don't like writing. Consciously try not to write the same song as everyone else, lyric-wise. Yeah, you know, definitely. Not, worse, not more boring. So, I know some bands, I've spoke to some people, and they don't, they don't really read much into lyrics, and they don't like think lyrics yeah. are massively important things to take time so over. So do some fans as well, to be fair. But personally, if you're going to do something, might as well do it. If you're not going to listen to it, well, it might as well be good. Yeah, exactly. What's the point? What's the difference like of the good or crap? Lyrics that make you think, or like they could mean any number of things to different people. Well, I think a lot, like a lot of people who do like lyrics, I like to think... Do you get into them and yeah, they I read like, them. I yeah. like to think what they might be thinking about. Or some, t- some, t- some people, the first thing they do is look at the lyrics while they listen to the new songs. Yeah, exactly. See what's this song all about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think if you're going to do it, you might as well put a lot of effort in. Exactly. So, where did the title "Full Nelson" come from? What's the concept? <laughs> concept. <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, well, to be honest, the, we did it a bit different this time. The, the other albums have had, well, apart, apart from "Fire Up," which is the first album. Um, the, the, Look at you with your flask. Eh? That's not my first time, mate. Is, is that so- <laughs> about be soup? Is it soup? Coffee. Coffee? Bollocks. Oh, what a letdown. <laughs> Bollocks? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you take that train spotting, don't you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's got me. I can tell. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, album names. Yeah, I Fire It Up is... Um, there's not, uh, well, Fight the System, there's a song called Fight the System and uh, Welcome to the World, there's a song. Obviously. We, we wanted to, yeah, we wanted to um, a name for the album that wasn't a song title this time. Right, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know why, just to be different. Mm. Um, and I, we were cracking. We must have written, I must have written about 300 names for album <laughs> titles down. <laughs> we went through them all. And, uh, Did any of the other lads come up with, try and come up with stuff? And yeah, but they were all crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sounds about I like right. your honesty. No, they're not here, are they? Um, they're here, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> when there's, there's nothing they can do, is there now? <laughs> well, the um, yeah, so we got all these names and we we did narrow it down and then thought of some more and narrowed it down and it was a bit of a drawn out process really. So we um, we w- we just wanted something that was British, that was sort of just right. a, a strong name and straight to the point and I don't know full full Nelson was just um, one of the one of the ones we come up with yeah. Full so does, any, it, does a, it tie into any of the songs on the album? Nah. Or is it just a cause no. sometimes that, that's what I always try to do. It's a wrestling move, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. I kind of liked it. It was a remind me of Bows. It was a bit about. It was a bit <laughs> like being. It reminded me a bit of being at maybe just getting me getting picked on at school. <laughs> <laughs> it's one I've had a few. Yeah, I've I like been it. a few full Nelsons in my time. Yeah. Who did the artwork? I've never dished many out. Um, this is another uh, and, and something else where um, we've always the artwork for albums. We've it's a pretty cool artwork so far. Ah, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, welcome it, to the world. It, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That, well, that was yeah. Well, well then they, they have none, nothing to do with us. That's why they're awesome. <laughs> 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 Largely. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, You're not control freaks on that front, then. No, not really. No. The, well, <laughs> well <laughs> you must have to tell someone the concept for them yeah, to do well, it. Though. Fight the system. Fight the system. We left. We left. Fight the system for ages, and we, we had about a week before it was released, and we hadn't done it. So we were like, "What the hell are we going to do here?" So that's uh, basically a Shutterstock image, is that one, faffed about with a bit. And, oh, si- right, and since right. then, I'm not joking, we must have had 10 bands over the last five, three or four years contact us saying, you've used the same album cover as us. Ah, because it's like, a, is that where you can buy or you yeah, can get free? Yeah, we just, just yeah, right, buy an image you or whatever it. you want with it, yeah. So then this one, Welcome to the World, came out, we were like, well, we can't do that again, because that's just a cop-out, isn't it? No, no, yeah. So yeah, a friend of ours um, took some photos and... Uh, we have a bit of in- input, but we'll just, it's just 
not something we're very good at. You know, we just end up <laughs> faffing around, picking holes in things for no reason, and <laughs> arguing Don't about things, circles. and going, "We like this. I like this font. I like it with a line under it. And I like it with a board around it." I just can't be asked. Just, just, just do it. And this time, we we said to Eric, we explained this, and we said that you, they must have contacts for this sort of thing. That are yeah. extremely talented guys, and uh, they took the name, and we we gave them. We did give them a few ideas. The, the wrestler guy, we came up with the mm. idea of that. What was one of the ideas we came up with? Because we like that kind of image. And uh, and they came back with with that like and, um, mm. and we were it's like, pretty wow. cool. Wow, it's it's like um, it's very eye catching. It's like because it's simple, but it's to the point. It's simple, I quite like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought Welcome to the World was quite layered. There was a lot to it to look yeah, at to yeah, work yeah. out what was well, going I, on. I, I kind of liked. Um, it's, it's a bit hit and miss. Welcome to the World. Some pe- some people think it's great, and some people weren't so keen on it. I, I thought it was great. I liked what, the album or the artwork, the cover. The cover oh, right, yeah, like, I, I, I thought it was. I, I really liked it. Yeah, I did. I did. It was very. I, I thought he kind of had a. I know it does look like a Judas Priest album, but I, the, the colours kind of reminded me. They, they always have those sort of neon, yeah. bright red and blue neon colours. I love on the them. the traffic that's moving really fast. Yeah. But do you remember? I don't know if you were the same. Some people back in the day used to just pick album covers because they look cool. Yeah, Bef- yeah well, before well, they even fucking listen to it. Yeah, you do. You do judge a book by its cover a little yeah. bit. You know, people say don't, but you do. So, but if you're well in like one. a sea of a million bands, you've got to stand out. So if you're just you boring and playing, if it's no, no. oh, and this it, looks quite and if good. It look, and if it looks shit, people go. Yeah, yeah it's looks, the same if you're in a magazine. Like. like, what kind of pictures do you? What yeah, do, do your yeah, pictures do, look yeah, like? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you just look like a bunch of boring twats. Like, next. Yeah, that's it. It's got it's got to stand out. Whatever. And and I think it was different. I've not seen anything else. Really look like that, so no, I haven't. it's cool. No, I thought it was good. Yeah. So you mentioned uh, Eric. Mm. That's pretty cool. Signing with Eric. Yeah, it was all right. Wasn't it? <laughs> when when did that? Happen? <sighs> More dates. You could have pre-warned me about these. I got you some dates. Come on. Uh, it was last year. Back yeah, it was. Last it was, year, was it? last. Uh, well, we we announced it just before the library gig, which was in December, was it? Yeah, yeah. No, it was so in, it'll be in November, year. November yeah. time, I think. So how did that come about? What do you know? The... <laughs> how did that come about? Yeah, the. Uh, yeah, well, they, they sent us a well. It did be the 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 main man, like top fellow. Uh, he sent us a message on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I, f- I thought it was a joke. <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't I you? Was, I was at work and um, I barely know how to use Instagram anyway. <laughs> it took me twenty minutes to open the message. I didn't even know you could get messages on Instagram. <laughs> I first thought it was pi- pictures. Good job you didn't take like four, 14 weeks to open it. Oh, he sent you another one. Forget oh, it's, it. It's too late <laughs> now. Not inter- clearly not interested. <laughs> Just had this little triangle in the corner. I thought, what's that? <laughs> Try to figure out how to open it. And then, it, and then I did open it. And he says, hi, it's uh, it Digby from Earache. I, I've heard um, Back to the Stack on, on Planet Rock, and I, and I really like it. Um, how do you fancy releasing your next album with us? All the best, Digby. <laughs> Boom. I thought, is this, is, is this guy winding me up? Who's this? <laughs> Fuck, send this to Terry. Have you that, seen this? That was it. Yeah. And so I sent it to the lads. They were like, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wait, this is incredible. Because they're American-based, aren't they? The, they have an office. I don't know if Dig, well, Digby, the the main guy is British. They have a, they have an American office ah, right. um, yeah. and a London office and a, an office in Nottingham. Right. So, yeah. so did you have go to like a meeting with them and stuff? Or yeah, well, I, well, I didn't because uh, I, c- I couldn't get the day off work. Mm. Not bloody work. But yeah, but uh, the rest the rest of the guys went went with Terry. Uh, they went and met Digby and Dan. You <laughs> must have been good. You couldn't go to that. Ah, well, you know, I'd have probably only blown it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, they don't want to meet. Come up with the black. <laughs> we want them to so we want them to get us on board before they realise who I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that, I remember seeing that when that got announced. That was pretty. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, cool yeah well, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's what it's what you. Um, it, it, I mean, the band had got the band had got so far. And to be honest, we have we've always said if the band ever tr- start treading water or, or anything or not going on an upward trajectory to some degree, yeah. Then to be honest, I'd just stop. To be honest, it, yeah. Because it's I a love, huge I, commitment. Isn't I love it, doing it. Like, I love being in the band and I love doing everything with it. But it, it does get not boring, but. When you're not making progress, it gets hard work. Where you got families and yeah. stuff, it's a lot of commitment, isn't it? Job, family. So like, when it stops doing anything exciting, then we'll probably stop it. So I think that probably just came just at the right time. It came at the right time, yeah. Mm. Definitely. So how 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 have it helped you so far? Then has it just been like oh amazing, being able to push your brand? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we we decided to take the step because we got the contract and we read over everything, and we were like, well, if we don't do it, what what else are we going to do? You know, mm. we, we might as well go for it and, and see what happens. You know. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, they're amazing, amazing. I don't, I don't care what anybody says about labels or all oh, this. All this. I'm not on Facebook anymore because it does my head in. I'm sick of I'm sick of reading for people's <laughs> homespun philosophy about <laughs> bands and what they should be doing. Yeah, and no. Labels and largely people that have got no experience of labels mm. or being in a band. It does my head in. Every band's different and everybody's yeah. situations are different. They do whatever they want. Whoever wants to sign to whatever, you don't know their contracts. You don't know their reasons for it. But yeah. for us, 
We were like, yeah, and, and the race. Mm. They've, they've, we've been like, we've oh, it's like we, you'd swear we've been there like number one sort of thing for the last eight, six, seven months. They're, they're As in they've put you because yeah, quite they're, high they're priority. On, they're on the phone to Terry all the time. They're doing this. They're doing that. That's what you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, they're yeah. not joking. They're an incredible bunch of people. Yeah, fantastic. That's exactly what. You Nothing's too much trouble. Yeah, we we we're all on the same page. You know, it's just brilliant. I genuinely believe that they they want this to be a big success. Yeah. They kind of like, I don't think they would have bothered getting in touch if they didn't, I think. But you can just look at the other bands that they've got and you can just... Well, that, that, was another big re- that was another big reason we went with them because they're... Uh, I know that, I know that we, we liked it because I know, I know this sort of... Their history is extreme metal and, mm. and whatnot. But a lot of the recent bands are, uh, like you said, the Blackberry Smokes and the... Trying to diversify. R- rivals. They're, they're, a br- they're a brave label, I think. Mm. And, and I thought it was... I, we, me and Adam were talking and, and it's like they're almost on the outside, they're... They're a bit of a renegade label, I yeah. think. They don't see a, They seem to book the trend a bit and go against what everybody yeah. kind of. Somebody should. Somebody's got to do that, haven't they? Yeah, well, that's it. I, th- I think they're great. Like they're taking a punt. <coughs> they take a punt on things. Yeah, w- which is good. They don't play safe. So, yeah. So have you done a video so far? Have you got? Oh, hold on, I'm just drink me fantastic. Have drink. a drink. Have a drink. Get this on camera. I'll wait till good. he picks his cup up and I ask yeah. him a question. That's I don't know. I'm looking at the screen for the cameras. There, <laughs> <laughs> just looking how good you look on the screen. Audio listeners, good we are filming this. It's on YouTube as well. <coughs> what but what are you doing question? some videos planned? Yeah, here we are, yeah, for Under No Illusion, yeah. We wanted to get it out in time. The trouble was we um, we had the two, this last two we've just done, and um, we needed to start selling the, the laminates and the pre-orders and stuff and the merch and whatnot, and um, we, didn't have a, we, didn't have it, we just didn't have enough time to get the video made for Under No yeah. Illusions, uh, Under No Illusion. And um, so we put the song out, um, but we are making a video, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, as we were just talking before we started recording, Spotify got like nearly twenty seven thousand players of it's it cra- already in a couple of weeks. It's crazy that they're, they're, they're um, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes really with with it, but I know there's a, I know there's a lot of involvement at the moment with Spotify and things. That's, we, we, that's we, where it is. We, yeah. we, we've been, I think they're working with Eric to be honest um, on something. That we, we got put on a, a few uh, like um, playlists. Popular playlists. I mean, I, I'm a I, I don't I. I <laughs> Oh, that's I, that in the, that's the key these days. I don't listen to playlists. Get I don't on. listen to spot. I, well, lots, I, lots I just people only, do though. Only because I play a Commodore sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't even own a computer. You're such an old man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I listen to Spotify on my phone and stuff, but I don't. Yeah, but that's. But yeah, we put some some of these big playlists with these massive bands and stuff. It's like pretty yeah. crazy, you know. That's what it's all about now, because the playlists are like some of the most top popular play- playlists have like it's people who subscribe because people subscribe to the playlist yeah yeah so songs Apparently get so. added and taken away and it gets refreshed and it's a chance if you're on a big one you can get a bit of money it's not a lot but you know well, it's, it's, it's exposure isn't it I mean if it's it, that it, as well if, if, if there's thousands of subscribers to we've got put on the Apple the Apple an Apple Rock playlist yeah well, God knows how many thousands of um, is, uh, subscribers that's, that's <laughs> but that's <laughs> oh, oh, is this an action shot yeah it's an action shot but but that's what it's all about because are you doing your own playlist? Do you do your own playlist? Yeah, yeah, we do. well, that's because again, again since we started with Eric, they, 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 they put these things in motion, you know, they kick mm. you in the ass, don't they? So mm. you need to start doing this, you need to start doing that, and, and, and they're right, you know, they're all great ideas, they're brilliant ideas, yeah, because you're also very active on social media as well. Oh, well, that's the one that's the one thing I can contribute to the band without, yeah. without fucking up being an idiot, yeah, <laughs> all right, I'm ready for that. No, but some of it's you, you get good, it's just banter, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's, that's it. Isn't it? I've, I've always, I've always found with social media, if if you're honest with, if you're just honest and don't take pe- yourself pe- too seriously, people like it. You know, yeah. people get people interact because they like having crowd. Yeah, and all right, people, people do say it was all right when, when we first started the social media thing, Facebook. You can reply to everybody and talk to everybody yeah. gladly, and I, and I do, I like it, I genuinely like it. But now, but you keep it up for so long, people. It's not that people expect it, but I expect yeah. it of myself to do it. Yeah. And it just takes a long, like, just takes a long time now. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you get to a certain level, but you just say somebody else will I deal some, with the whole. Somebody else who's not as funny as me to do it. It sounds daft, but it is a lot. If you've got to do like, a, if you want to do a post, you Facebook, Twitter, I th- Instagram. I, th- I feel bad. I feel bad sometimes when, when you look at comments on wagons posts and people have, you know, I think, oh, I, I, I better answer that. I, I, I can't ignore that. They've written, they've taken the time to answer. That. I, need, I need to answer the question before you know, it's been an hour. It's been an hour and a half. I, think I should be in bed I'm, by I'm now. <laughs> Christ Almighty! And then, and then I decide uh, Twitter. Do you do Twitter? Yeah, it's not that popular for us, really. Friggin' you know, hell, that is like, that blows my mind. Instagram's a place. Instagram uh, and Facebook for lo- the podcast. In- I love Instagram. Yeah, I do. But, but, but twi- yeah. Twitter, uh, if I leave, if you start it, I'll put something up or you'll get tagged in a conversation and before, in about 10 seconds, you end up with about 50 notifications. <laughs> 
And then if you if I, like me, you, you bury your head in the sand about it, you end up with about three thousand notifications. <laughs> you just go uh, but forget then, it. But, but then having OCD and wanting to reply to everybody, <laughs> I have to I have to go back a, two weeks on my phone like this, flicking through it. I go, and I'm going back two weeks, trying to find the last thing I liked, and I can start again, <laughs> just in case I've missed anything important. Oh, they've I better answer them. Oh, it drives me up the wall. And and when you get back to the top again, in the second you've stopped, you've got another. Bloody four yeah. notifications because it just it would just never end. It just drives me mad. Especially so if you... I ignore you on Twitter, it's not on purpose. <laughs> it's, it's just because you've got shit to do. I can't deal with it. <laughs> you've got like a kid. Yeah, I've got yeah. And a job, There's stuff to do. Yeah, I've got <laughs> housework to do. But that's what it's all about. But you, you guys are fairly active, and I think that's what fans like. You yeah. don't take yourself too seriously. You just have a laugh, and yeah, that's it. You've... But I, I always think just if you've got something to post, post. If you don't, don't. Yeah, well, go yeah, quiet that... for a bit. Who cares? That's it. I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it takes a lot. It's a it's a weird one. Well, Facebook is weird. It takes a long time to figure out what does well and <laughs> what's a waste of time posting and, and what, posts and all that. What stuff. time to do things and yeah. Terry's good at that though, is she? Yeah. Oh, t- oh too well. Yeah. Terry, she's a wizard at and like she shed. She's at the beginning of the week. Schedule posts. <laughs> yeah. She schedules that, everything yeah. in like yeah. But sometimes we sometimes do it in the middle of the night because the other side of the world's up. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. But yeah. it's 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 a it's a battle. They've got the music, writing music, performing. The business side of it, social media, it's like, well, it's a it, lot. it gets more and more, doesn't it? There's it does. Just more and more things to do. Well, I was going to say that last tour, you sold out a London show. Yeah, I know, yeah, I did that. I was that like, happen, fucking eh? well done, man. That's fucking, you're not even from London. What's going on there? I don't know. The first <laughs> one that is the first one that, well, yeah, there was, that sold out, Nottingham sold out. Nottingham sold out on the day of the gig. Uh, Wakefield sold out. And uh, there was another one, I think, that just about sold out. But London, yeah, London sold out before, before, it was the first one. Weird, eh? Yeah. I just think this day and age, if you headline, if your name's at the top and you sell out, you're doing pretty all right. It was you're ama- doing pretty well. It was amazing <laughs> as well. It was it was a mega mega gig. That it's just a good feeling. Just Borderline. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the the library gig like? Brilliant. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was um, that was different. It was different. <laughs> well, we wanted we hadn't played in Lancaster for ages because we're from there. We're from Lancaster. We hadn't played in Lancaster for ages. Not all the venues in Lancaster are great, but they're all sort of. The Yorkshire House is, I think, about 100 people. I think you've outgrown them. Well, I know, would say. That's my opinion. I didn't want to say that. But, <laughs> but no, you have. There's, you there's, have. There's, no real, there's no real proper actual venues that are 24-7 just a venue. But yeah, but there's, there's no venues that are anything over 100 cap. You know? So, right, but, yeah. and, and, I, and I remembered... I was like, where can we play? And, and I remembered that they'd had, they'd had some gigs on in the library. Adele had played in the library, believe it or not. Wow. And um, what's he called? Frank Turner and uh, Ellie Golding. And I was like, well, they, they must have had people in there. They must have had gigs on. So Terry contacted them and said, yeah, yeah, we've had gigs on in here. Yeah, no worries. Never had a rock band in there, though. <laughs> and, the, and the gigs that they had on in there were, were, were alcohol-free nights. Right. So bef- but, but we'd already committed to it and we'd already advertised it. So they were like, oh, no, what are we going to do? Because they never had a bar in there. So they have a license to sell in there if you did? Yeah, they have got a license, oh, yeah. Right, right. But it was only, um, they'd only they, had, they had sold beer and alcohol in there, but only on a tiny scale, you know. Right. So um, I think I think we had a license. Yeah, did Terry have to get one? I don't get involved in that anyway. Um, and it sold out in about three days. Yeah, three hundred people. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, should have had it another night. Well, we should, yeah, we should have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got Cloven Hoof there, and uh, you're probably aware of those yeah, guys. Yeah, that's the they're, rum. They're everywhere. Them guys are ace. And um, I, I was like, I'd, I'd like to get some of them on the podcast as well. The Cloven. Oh, I bet I bet they'd come on. They'd be good yeah. guests for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They'd, they'd definitely come on. I would have thought. Yeah, they're, they're great. They got lots to say. Yeah, brilliant people. And we got. Um, uh, yeah, Road Crew, oh. Ale. Yeah, probably through you. Um, you'll know him, do you? Um, I don't know him. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I can't remember his name. Big lad. So. He's uh, yeah, yeah. He's um, he's in uh, Banzi in. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. He's yeah. He's um, singer on a few months ago. You've had him on twice. Beard goes out with Rachel. Matt Adamson. Uh, Matt Adamson. Bosh. Yeah. What's Ding. Dean. That's it. Yeah, the guy what? from Raw. He works for uh, right. and works for Raw Crew, I think. Right, top guy. Yeah, right, and, yeah. and, and yeah, they, he brought he brought their bar down. So, so what? Was it sold out? How many people was it? Three hundred people. Yeah, that's, but but it was awesome. a, it was a weird one. We got you. Well, you'll know Chris. Have you had Chris Edgar on? Haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, well, Chris Edgar did this. Now we do a bit with Chris because he's, he's a legend. Oh, he's top guy. And, and he brought his his um because they never had a rock band in there. They had and Chris Chris has never obviously never been in there. They had no idea about the sound. The sound was hard work. He said really hard work. But they're, 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 that's the risky taking it for, I suppose, yeah. putting a gig on in somewhere that doesn't really have... Everyone seemed to be happy, fans-wise. Oh, they, fan they were all drunk, so... 
<laughs> That's although, although I'll tell you, there was a bit of a disaster because we had, we'd arranged it and sold it out, 300 odd people. Those were two single cubicle, two single cubicle <laughs> toilets in the whole building. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were queued around the block, yeah. Oh, well. Some people just gone outside. <laughs> All the blocks went outside, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what other gigs have you done recently? I'll do that. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, right. I'll do another one there. <laughs> you go for the journey. I nearly fell asleep on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you been fairly quiet, though, recently, until you announced this album? Uh, no, well, we did the tour. Apart from that tour that you did. Apart from the tour. Uh, yeah, we, well, before the tour, we were very quiet, yeah. Just because you were doing the album and recording stuff. Recording yeah. and stuff, yeah. When did you start doing, getting songs together for that? Um, we never really stopped, to be honest. Uh, it was a bit, there was, um, we, I think we had two or three together and then the Eric thing came about. Right. Uh, to be honest, it was, it, it kind of put a bit of pressure. They didn't put any pressure on. We put pressure on ourselves because of the Eric thing, but good pressure. It, it worked. It, it gives you like a, it was good. It kicked it us up the arse. Put some on the horizon here. We need to get this sorted. Yeah. This needs to be good. Yeah. That as well. We yeah, don't yeah. know. We don't all like dicks, do we? <laughs> so it's better than like a kick up the backside to say it was. This it needs it to was. Be it, shit it was good. Uh, yeah, and, and I, th- I think it, I think it's all right. Yeah. So how does the uh, songwriting process normally go for you guys? Um, well, I, I, Adam's Adam's the main music guy. Fizzle thought he um, he just bring he brings riffs and stuff to me. I, I don't know what the bands do it like. I don't know if this sounds really boring, but he uh, <laughs> he he brings riffs to me. Or I I'll go around his house and uh, I'll just record them on my phone, right? Or whatever. And then I'm at, when I'm at work. Just working Scat on my dinner shit. hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, really put my fucking phone in it there, didn't I? <laughs> I I, uh, I listen to him and uh, yeah, just just write lyrics to him. He gives he gives me he gives me the bare bones and stuff. He'll give me verse and chorus riffs and sometimes I'll think I'll write some verse words for something and chorus and then mix stuff about and then I go back with him. We, we, we faff about and take it to practice. That's all. And so, do you normally have ideas of arrangements for songs, or do you just do the lyrics? No, to be honest, well, we get. He'll give me he'll give me verses and choruses. There's always verses and choruses in there. Yeah. So he'll give me verses and choruses, and we'll take those away, and get them sorted, and take them to practice, and then just play them and just see. Just thrash it out. Just, thrash it, just, just play it over and over and see what see how it works, and if things need adding in, or sometimes he get, then he'll go away and cut the other bits. So does it take your time to write lyrics then, Do you, or does it vary? It depends on the song. Um, because I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll write it. Five, three, four, five times before I end up. What I first write will be some versus what I yeah, end yeah, up with yeah, a completely I think, different. I think so. Yeah, I uh, I write them. I write. I write. I write them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, I'm the same. I, I do. I do agonise over them. Like, yeah. Do you have a title? Do you start with a title? That's what I do. No, oh, that's right. the last thing I do. Because <laughs> if I didn't have a title, I would just go off on tangents and Occa- take forever. To occasionally, I will think of a title. Like I thought, the title nails before I wrote the song, but that's the only one I can think of. Where, where did that come from? Um, I don't know. A mate, I was, I used to, uh, I was in the RF years ago, and I was a mate, and he was Scottish, and he used to say that word for some reason. <laughs> if something was tough, it was nails. Right. <laughs> Just stuck in my head. I thought, that's well, brilliant. I thought, oh, well, that sounds like a good name for a song. But yeah, normally I write the song and then think, and then I just let somebody else pick the title. Right. Okay. Or oh, some, just sometimes part of the lyrics maybe yes, jump out. Sometimes. The title. Obviously, like fight the system probably wrote itself. I think of it. I think of a theme generally before yeah. I write before I write lyrics. I have, you know, do you sometimes make notes of like a word that you might hear? That's, oh, that's quite cool. I make yeah, yeah, I do, yeah, I do. Or like I do a phrase or a sentence. Yeah, def- and definitely. That. Yeah. And w- if we have the body of a song, I'll go through that and think, what does that? What does any word that kind of jump out that that music kind of reminds me of? Then I can sometimes give it a title because if yeah. I have a title, I get done a lot quicker. But if it doesn't have a title, <laughs> it's like, what the f- I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> Draw inspiration from the title, like yeah. No, yeah. no, I, I don't. I don't know really. It's hard to explain it. Uh, all, all, I find all songs are written differently. Yeah, yeah. Really, sometimes, sometimes they just. Um, sometimes I've written a song and it's taken ages to write, and then I won't like it. And it's taken ages to slog through it. Then I'll scrap it and then write, write it to the same music in about a few hours. Yeah. I think, why yeah. didn't I do that in the first place? <laughs> just the way it goes, isn't it? And other times, it just the whole thing just comes to you. Just yeah, just. Boom. And, and so, sometimes, if it comes easy, you just leave it. Don't. Um, just don't overthink it. If you're struggling it. with it, uh, yeah, leave it and then come back with a fresh, fresh mindset. Yeah. Like a week later, maybe. I, I have taken the songs to the lads, and and because uh, I mean, we'll, we'll have we'll have Adam will have the music worked out, and we'll take him to the lads, and he'll play the music, and I'll sing to the guys, and say, "What do you think of this?" And uh, now, sometimes I have said, "God, I'm not sure about this," but it's turned out to be a great song. Like, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what? Oh, well, they'll go. Oh, I love it. It's great. I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I shit. So when when did you sort of get your confidence for singing then? 
did that take a long time? Like, were you a nervous singer at the beginning? Um, like most people <clears> would be, I suppose? Or? I don't know, really. The, fir- the first gig we ever played, I mean, uh, we used to practice, we had, a, we had a different drummer and a different bass player originally. We used to practice in the old drummer's garage. And um, it's fair to say I'm a bit older than the rest of the guys. Right. So I was like, well, just, I'll have a go at singing. Just, just be honest. Just tell if it's shit, just say. Because, you There's know, no point I'm not really bothered. Yeah. We'll get yeah. a few people down. If they think it's crap, well, then I won't do it. We'll start again. <laughs> we'll start, I'm not bothered. But I'll give it a good go. And they were like, no, no, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's like, okay, people are trusted. Yeah, but the band has always you know, been. Just, not, I've just always, tell you what you want to hear. I've always tried to s- surround a band with friends and stuff. People, I've got three or four people that yeah. I know will be honest. If something's yeah. crap, they will say it's crap, yeah. or yeah. they don't like it. Which is what you need. I do not want to know. I don't want people telling me something's good when I'm going to make a t- t- titter <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah. Well, the first gig, w- the first gig we did was cut co- with some covers. Really, a lot of covers, about ten covers. Yeah, most people in it. And I was just. What like was that. your first gig? I was like this with a microphone, <laughs> 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 trying to hide behind it. <laughs> I did all right singing. A confident singing is just the rest of the it. Performance. Being of it. a f- front man, it's like yeah. I had no idea what to do. <laughs> Hold on to the microphone as hard as you can. What year was your first gig? It was at, um, it was just a gig at the British Legion in Carnforth, yeah. Do you remember when? When? Oh, you know. Uh, 2009, I think. Okay. At some point, I don't know. I don't know. So that was your first time ever on like on stage in front of people. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, first time was, singing anything. That was the same year as my first gigs. Well. Was it? Was it yeah. really? All yeah. oh, right, in Dynamo, <laughs> was it? No, we used to. We were called Black Cash. Black Cash. Yeah. Dynamo mm. has had three. Like we're Black Cash, then it became Dynamo. Yeah. Different lineup changes before it became. Because uh, when we signed with management, first thing said was like, "Got to change your name." There's too, right. too many Dynamos, and the magician was getting famous. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it, when people search for you, <laughs> yeah, you don't get Because it wasn't just bands; it was like there's products and services that uh, use the word dynamo. Right. Like, can't find. If someone ca- someone w- wants to find you, they can't find you in like ten seconds. Like, can't you're right. I, f- I, f- I do find that with some bands. That, yeah, you, you, I, 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 off the top of my head, I can't think of any. But yeah, you, they get they get lost, don't they? Yeah. You, you end up having to put the name in and band, band. after yeah. it to find yeah. them. There's nobody else called Massive Wagons. Let me tell you, well. <laughs> <laughs> there's no products called Massive Wagons either. So, so the, oh yeah, where did the name come from then? It's pretty. I, I know this, but. For the people who don't know. All oh, right. I'm doing that thing again, looking at the TV screen. Trying <laughs> you to can ca- look wherever you trying want. Trying to catch sight of myself. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the band name, yeah, it's... Um, it's you had to ask that question, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, well, the bar, the bar we used to drink in, I don't know, uh, there was a barmaid working there, working there called Terry, actually. It's different Terry. Right. And uh, she just had massive knockers. <laughs> right. That's, uh, that's where he came from. How on earth did you like think, oh, that'd be a good name for a band? I didn't think of it. Yeah, well, that, that was, uh, you see, Adam and Carl and uh, the couple of the lads all used to drink together more regular than me. Um, I was just out one night with them, to be honest. Right. I was friends with them all, I knew them, but, uh, you know, yeah. I didn't, I wasn't regular drinkers with them. And they had this, uh, this is what, this is what, this was their secret code word for it, like. Ah, okay. Massive, so when, massive you did wagons. Your, when you did your first gig, you did it as Massive, we were called Massive Wagons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, well, to be honest, I think, I think that that was just a name we gave them. Because we couldn't think of a name. Right, it just kind of We're stuck. like, I don't know, just call us that, that'll do, won't it? And that was it. <laughs> and now it just doesn't mean anything, does it? It's just the name of the band, isn't it? Well, it works. But at first it was like, for a while people, if it's a daft name, people they go, what's a stupid name? But then after a while, they're just like, oh, Massive Wagons, isn't it? But at the end of the day, if you write good songs, the name doesn't really matter. No, that's not it. <laughs> Beatles, Beatles is a stupid name, isn't it? You could, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, you think so. Like Pink Floyd, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> well, listen about them, they're better. But yeah, t- 2009, so not that long, yeah. really. No, it feels a lot longer. <laughs> Cause, yeah, 2009, um, yeah. Well, yeah, so it's been like eight and a half years, I think. Because outside of all the, the big bands that I grew up with, you guys are probably have had the biggest influence on me. Personally, like, performance-wise, because the first time I played with you was in 2012 at the Dog and Partridge in Preston. Have you got a memory for date? 2012? Did you, re- did you research that before? No, I, I remember, I remember. You know, eh? It was us and you, and uh, when I didn't know much about you guys, but I can't <coughs> even remember how it came about. Who else was it? Was it was it um, a band called Never Dime Falls? It was just us two. Was it? Was it? Was it was just us? Oh, yeah, right, um, Andy Manette, our bass player. Yeah, yeah. He used to go to uni in. He's like Alan Wicker, that lad, now, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, hey, he's all over the world. <laughs> Every time I he go is. on Facebook, he's in Singapore. <laughs> he's in frigging <laughs> Vietnam. Yep, but he knows the guy. Was it Mark? Something? Mark. Mark, yeah. At the Dog and Partridge, so he got us a gig there with you guys. Oh, right, yeah. And Great posters. We'd only be, we'd, yeah, we'd only been going about six months at the time. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we were like, we, you know, we thought we were doing all right. And then when you guys played, I just remember going, 
we've got some work to do. Because <laughs> you guys were just a bit more, I don't know. Yeah, we've probably been going a bit longer. Well, yeah, but more so. rehearsed and just like a bit of banter between songs and just uh, transitions. I'm glad you got that from my uh, performance because <laughs> I think I'm shit at well, that. Well, half a stand-up comedian as well. <laughs> but um, like transitions between songs and you know, not, so yeah, much, well, well, not as many well, awkward silences. Yeah, well, you, you've, like got work, you've got to work. It takes a while, but you've got to work on these things as a band. Yeah. The, the, the bits outside of the songs are just as important as the songs. Well, yeah, because it's a sh- it's the show, isn't it? Of course it is, yeah. But I just thought I'd say that's. Oh, you know, thank you very much. <laughs> Good. I've I'm been glad a, I was such I've a massive influence since. on you. Yeah. Now you're that's... not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't compete now. You see. Oh. <laughs> no, but um, so yeah, you've been going what eight and a half years? Eight and a half years, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So technically, you've only ever been in one band. Well, I was in a co- well, I was in a cover band before that. Right. Yeah. Doing what sort of just stuff? Just played it. I was used to play blip. Play bass, yeah. Ah, Play, playing like ask, indie, you, indie, indie, you, indie covers. Do you play really. guitar as well? Oh, no. Because you own guitars, don't you? Yeah, I've tried playing guitar. I can play a few chords. Right. You know, I'm, is that something I'm you just would, would like to do? I'm just one, one of them. <laughs> Bedroom player. Bedroom player, yeah. Is that something you would like to do? Play guitar. Like master it? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. I think um, I've always tried, as, even from a little kid, I always wanted to play guitar. Right. And I always tried to l- teach myself guitar. Never had any lessons. Um, I never had anyone to show me. And I always had these horrible, horrible guitar tutor books, way before the sort of ones with the CDs on the front. <laughs> like, I'm talking like really old ones yeah. that my parents used to get me. You know, I have a look at that, something like the 60s or something. Yeah. Horrible. I'm like, I, I, I can't even get past the first page. <laughs> and I don't even know what any of this means. So this used to wind me up. So you should give up. And uh, I got to a stage where I, 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 used to, I used to rock around with a guy. He showed me some chords. I played a few Beatles y songs and all that. I mm. wasted all that rubbish. Um, and then I, it's just time as well. There's no time to practice. You've got to, you've got to put the hours in. <laughs> if you want to do it, you've got to do it all the time. And yeah. recently, I started having some more lessons. I thought, right, I'll have some lessons. I'll do this proper. I'm going to do it. I'm going to. If it kills me, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I lasted about three months, and then I gave up. <laughs> you must have made a bit of progress, though. Yeah, I did. I, 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 did, I did actually. I, I, well, I learned. I learned to play a few songs, and I, I, pr- I did try to practice. And it, well, then Lila was born. So. Well, yeah, yeah, it changes things, doesn't there it? There you go. But I mean, no time for that rubbish. <laughs> when anyone first starts Poof! out, all that you want to do that goes their guitar god dream. <laughs> There's still time. Oh, yeah. But all you want to do is when you first start is just be able to play your favorite songs, isn't it? Because it sounds cool. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, and then you after after you've done that a few times, you get bored of that, don't you? And then you think, well, <laughs> to do something a bit better than this. So, if, would you ever one day like to? play a massive wagon song where you're singing and playing guitar at the same no, time? No, no, no way, no. They wouldn't <laughs> let me do that. <laughs> not in a million years. They, they wouldn't even, it's not even, it wouldn't, I could I could tell you right now that, that conversation would go. <laughs> you suggested it. He wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even suggest it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste anyone's time. <laughs> the, well, the only other thing is some singers don't play in, in the band, but it helps them sometimes write songs. No, no, no. Probably just ruin Mecca songs, crapper. <laughs> No, nah, I just go off Adam's. Adam's music. Adam's music's always. He's the man. He's the man. Yeah, he he, he gives. Him, yeah, yeah, he's he's brilliant. Like, yeah. I don't so when, know. so you first technically your first release was Fire Up in two thousand and eleven. Right. So had there been a line? <laughs> you know everything. No, I didn't I even know that. Looked, I just, all I did was look on Spotify before you right. got here. Oh, there you go. I don't know. I don't know. How to use uh, that either. So two thousand eleven. Right. How much many lineup changes had you had before that first release? Because some people argue. It doesn't matter what lineups there were. Whenever their band is the first thing, that's the original lineup. Yeah, well, uh, it, well, you could we could ask that about ACDC. That their, well, their exactly. big li- their big lineup we wasn't their original lineup, was exactly. it? Exactly. You know, there's it's lots debatable. There's, 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 I, I wouldn't, I can't. It'd be interesting to know how many bands actually have got big with the very first original lineup. There's not many. Uh, I mean, the uh, very. I mean, yeah. I mean, absolutely the first yeah. ever one. No matter how much they'd done. I mean, our our original lineup. I don't. I can't remember if we actually wrote any originals. We might have written Hurricane Susie with the original drummer and the original bass player. I think that's the first right. song we ever wrote. Uh, but I couldn't tell you even if we ever played them. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Because a bit nerve wracking the first time you play your own original material. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, yeah. It was yeah. We definitely that's definitely what we wanted to do though. Yeah, yeah. You don't just want to be. There's, a no, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But sometimes back in the day, I don't you do it now, but you used to do some cover gigs on the side. Well, yeah, well, to be honest, we started out doing small cover gigs. We were the first few gigs we did were like 10 cover songs. Yeah. And then we thought, well, we'll put one or two of our own in, local people that didn't mind that sort of thing. So we, then we did some one set gigs of like 10 covers and one of our own. And then we yeah. put another one in. And then, and, then, and then we sort of did a few all day f- events where we do the same thing. 
And uh, but then we decided we needed. We thought, well, we'll what we'll do is we'll learn a full set of covers for a for a full night, two full sets, you know. Yeah. Oh, crikey! <laughs> Sorry, team. <laughs> the um, because I don't care what anyone says. It it, it, it gets you good. It gets you good, uh, yes. and it gets you gigs. You know, I, I, yeah. it's all right just writing your own stuff, but for years you'll be playing in venues to to, to nobody. But we did that, playing our own stuff all the time to nobody. Yeah. But when you're playing to playing covers, you're playing to like a Saturday night, Friday night yeah. pubs full of people. There's no greater experience for being in a band than that. I don't think. I don't, yeah. I don't care what music you're playing. Uh, but because we were local, we then we started writing more of our own, and we started slotting our own in without telling anyone. Mm. And nobody in the bar cared because there was. They knew you were good, and they were all there to buy yeah. beer, and they don't care what you're playing. I think it works both ways as well, like doing that, doing it that way, where you do mainly covers, and you slip a song and that's your own, and they, they don't know. But, but pe- or yeah, but people, um, <clears throat> because of beauty of social media, people watch it. We play a lot of biker rallies, playing a load of covers. They, they come online and f- then find your new, find your own stuff mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, you know, but we, we we have met a lot of people that tell oh, you, yeah, do they do the cover thing, don't you? So well, it pays a lot of money. <laughs> People we bought a van through playing covers. Loads of bands do that. It you pay, know, keeps things ticking over. All right, we did. All right, we did. A lot of bands play the cover thing and then have their own stuff as a separate band. But we, we did keep the whole the name because. Oh, you did cover gigs. Ags massive wagons. Yeah, yeah, oh, we did, right, did okay. everything. Uh, some wagons, bands come yeah. up with like a stupid name just for. If yeah, you do. <laughs> no, we, were, we were just like we are who we are. I'm not. Yeah, that's just, fair enough. Just do what we do. If yeah. you don't like it, all that couldn't really care. But I was going to say the other side of it is when you do your own gigs. To sometimes if you're playing to like a new crowd, what we used to do. Which used to work if you slip a cover in, just one yeah. cover. If like if we were doing like forty five minutes, we'd maybe slip one cover in. Yeah. And if sometimes we'd do that like maybe th- halfway through, and if if it went really well, that sort of drew people's attention, and they sort right, of yeah, enjoyed re- the rest re- of re- your re- set. Re-energizes people. And yeah. sometimes they, that, like you said, that then they would go and look you out, see well, well, what what else yeah, do these that, guys that definitely, do? Definitely, yeah. Well, they can sort of get if if you play a cover in it, if you like that, if you play a cover, they can get a measure of just how good you really are because they, they know how that song's supposed to sound. They know how that song sounds. Yeah, they exactly. think, oh, well, I really like that, so yeah. they, they must be good. Like you know, I've, I've, I've done, I mean, we've done the, that a few times. The, 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 the tricky thing was stopping to do stopping doing the cover thing. And they came that transition. There came a yeah. point where we were doing running doing both. People would book us and we'd say, oh, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. can do like a two-hour cover set. We can do a whatever original set. Or, yeah. You know, at some point you've got to say, "Well, we have to stand on our own two feet we now." To, we have to stop doing the push thing. forward with our stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. We, we did it for enjoyment, experience, and money. So it's, yeah, it's fun and it's yeah helps life, things. Life's too over, short to cow. Pays for hotels and thing. fuel and food, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we bought a van. That was the best thing we ever bought. Yeah, it's vital, isn't it? You can't buy. You can't be in a, a band wanting to go places and all yeah. going in separate cars everywhere. We've done many gigs abroad. We've done Ibiza and that. Yeah, we've done Ibiza a few times. We're doing that this. We're doing that in two weeks. I think we're there have again. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, May it. Yeah. Uh, I'd be the rocks. No, no, it's uh, it's a hard rock hell. Oh uh, yeah, uh, again, yeah. road road trip it's called. Uh, yeah, we've been abroad a few times. Uh, well, Belgium, we did a biker thing in Belgium. Barcelona, I think we played there once. We've not done a tour abroad. You guys went to Belgium, didn't you? Belgium and Holland. Yeah, I know a mate of mine. Yeah. Well, yeah, Prometheum, cool. they've just they just did a few gigs oh, in yeah. Belgium, and yeah. they, they, Belgium, they said they were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. thirteen stars. We've just done a tour. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. forget all them. Spend more time oh, there out, out of the country than they do in the country, don't they? Yeah. I love those guys. Yeah, they're great, they? Yeah. I'm going to get a Hoss on here soon as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You've had him on, have you? Yeah, ages ago with... Uh, um, Jax? No, with... Uh, what's his name? Uh, ex-member. Callum Glynn. Callum Glynn. Same. Thanks. Callum Glynn. Yeah. Callum will be happy about that, won't he? Can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least someone can. But well, that was ages someone ago. Someone cares about you, Callum. That was like... We love you, Callum. Two years ago. Yeah, long time. So a lot's, oh, happened, well, a lot's due, happened since then. Due to come back on, isn't he? Yeah. Does yeah. he wear a silly hat when he comes on? He didn't this time. Did he not? <sighs> The king of the king of the arts, isn't he? He gave Boss. us he gave us a bit of a hi- highlight reel though. He was talking about um, vocal warm ups and looking after your voice. Then he proceeded to choke. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a drink. He's like, <laughs> 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 oh, the comedy timing. Oh, he's a man. I was going to ask you about fight the system because that, oh, right. that's probably the song that sort of gave you a push. I think when it first, when it came out, it, it was certainly I one know that you've had a couple of different versions of it. Yeah, yeah well, we 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 did. Yeah, well, we recorded a version of it for. Uh, yeah, fire it, uh, fire it up. It's on that. Yeah, that's what I would call it, like an t- anthem. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, God, I'm glad you like it, man. <laughs> did, that a bi- did that have a big influence as well? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, cool. No, but you always see the gig. I've said you play many times. That's one of the ones yeah, where well, people, f- oh, everyone knows. F- for the a words. long, for a long time, it was definitely the biggest song in the set. I think. Was it on fire it up? Yeah, it's on there, yeah. and and it's on, uh, and it obviously it's on fire the system. Well, our manager at the time, Nick, he said it's a great song. People like it, and if you've got to 
why, why don't you just re-record it? You know, we were like, well, we've already put it on an album. Why would we record it and put it on the second album mm. as well? We thought it was a silly idea, really. But he said, well, if you aim it to get out to a bigger audience, you've already sold all the copies of Fire Up. Yeah, they're they, gonna, they've they're never not, heard it. They're not going to hear the song, are they? So make a b- record it in a better version and start again. So I'm we're glad like, you did. We're like, well, all right. Yeah. We'll trust you. Because especially done it with Matt as well. All <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah, he, he made a fantastic job of it. Yeah, and I'm glad I'm, he was right, was uh, Nick. I'm glad we did it. Because you changed it. the intro because it used to have like a slidey A guitar. really out of time acoustic <laughs> slidey guitar. <laughs> I liked it though. Did I didn't it? like the new version at first. The intro, I was like, I'm not so sure. But now, when I hear it, I was yeah, like, it's definitely better. It works better live as well. With the the kick drum, yeah, d- yeah, definitely. It's much more how we played it live. So, yeah, is that one of the songs you keep towards the end, or do you just play it anywhere now? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's generally generally played about three quarters of the way through the set now. Yeah. We, we haven't. We had, to be honest, it was out of the set for about a year, I think. Wow, I but thought it was one of them songs that you'd always have to play. No, no, I, we got fed up of playing it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just <laughs> did anyone say anything? Why didn't you play fight the system? Nah, no, no one, no one already <laughs> said anything. So, uh, lyrically, where did the, what was the inspiration for that? For fight the system, yeah. Well, I don't know. It must have been written a fair while ago. Well, if you think about it, if someone fire up, that was 2011. That's fairly early on for you. Yeah, that, it'll have been one of the first songs we ever wrote, I think. It's a song that doesn't have a chorus. No, it's a bit like well, Paranoid, to, Black Sabbath. To be honest, we didn't realise it didn't have a chorus till we got to it, <laughs> till we'd written it. Like, to, the song doesn't have a chorus. Yeah. But, I it, but it works like that somehow, I don't know. Paranoid by Black Sabbath. I'd, for years, I didn't th- even know, oh, yeah, it doesn't have a chorus. Strange, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but, but the, it's but one of the... It's, it's more about the riff, isn't it, and the feel, yeah. of, the feel of the song, yeah. But lyrically, what was the sort of... Oh, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I don't know. Just How does it go? Uh, it's just about being a just a working class bloke, I suppose. Good lyrics, though. For s- if you've only been doing... You've, do- you've only been ly- lyrics for a couple of years at the time. Yeah, I was a bitter man back then. Yeah, but it makes for good fucking lyrics, though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. Just Yeah, it's just about being working class in it and just not taking any shit, I suppose. It's a bit cheesy looking back at it now, but... I don't think it is. I, you know, I you can know. see why you think. Yeah, that, I can bit of cheese, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I but I can that. see I why that. people relate to it though, because it's the very universal lyrics. I think where it's anyone. Can yeah, a few people have it. said that. M- Mucker J uh, has always said that. Like he, he likes that song. It's yeah. Just honest, like yeah. just like what struggles that most people have. You know, work and sticking it to the man and yeah. fighting the system. Yeah, fighting <laughs> the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's always been a big song of ours in this set. So yeah, and I, I have always liked. I have always. Although it did get a bit boring playing it, I suppose, over and again. But it's sometimes good to give songs a rest. Yeah, definitely. Because then when you definitely. bring them back, it's twice they, they feel twice as good. You think, why, oh, why did we leave this out? Yeah, this is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. But you get yeah. to the point now. Well, how, is it third release now? Fourth. Fourth. So, and a live the, album. The, the, and a live album. Yeah, the struggle of what to play and what not to play. Yeah, I, sp- yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Which That's is somebody a, else's job, that. No, well, who, I don't, who, I don't get who normally picks that. the set list then? Uh, Adam. Do you not have any say because yeah, of vocal wise? He, he, he brings the. Nah. Do you not? Nah. No, no, there's, no, there's no songs that push you a bit. You think, oh, I'll yeah, well, I'd rather do that one a bit earlier there, on than it, towards the end. There's one or two on the new album that are really quite hard to sing. Okay. Nah, just go for it. It's got to have balls, isn't it? Fair enough. <laughs> just man it out. <laughs> just man it no, out. because some bands, the singer completely dictates the set list because it depends on the song it's type. Soft, <laughs> Clearly. Just go for it. Fair enough. So you've never had any... Oh, push yourself on you. I know, I know what you mean. There has been there has been odd times where... Especially if you're doing longer tours, though, where you're doing more gigs per week, though. If we've done <clears throat> if we've done a few nights and one song's been uh, difficult, getting difficult to sing, and I, and I feel like I won't do it justice, then I'll say, well, we'll swap that one. Yeah. But, but yeah. What So, bar the new album, what what songs push you singing-wise? Uh, there's, there's, you know what? There's, there's, there's not really... There's not really a right laugh. The other albums, it's just this new one's got a couple. There's a song called Sunshine Smile on the new album, which is difficult to sing. The Day We Fell was quite hard for a while. Ah, uh, right, yeah. I actually think we play that a little bit more down tune now. Just to make me feel better <laughs> about singing it. I don't know. I don't know anything about that either. It's all technical <laughs> talk. So I was going to ask about uh, your lineup change, your most recent lineup change. <laughs> Do you not get the memo about this? <laughs> You're not supposed to mention it. Who's your new guy? New guy, Steve. Yeah, Steve. He's a uh, he's a legend. Yeah. So was he like a was he involved with the band at all before? No, he's he's a he's a guy. Um, his his dad is a, he's a, he's um he works with uh, Adam and Alex's dad right. on the railway in Carnforth, and um, Charlie. He's a guitar player, and he used to play with some of the locals like in, from the area and bands and stuff back in their day. And uh, we we had a gig at Bootleggers, and we wanted a, a band to open for us, and uh, this band called Loose Fuse had heard of. Um, and Stephen was a singer guitar player in that band. Right. And uh, there's, there's not many. He just came across. He was just like, 
lot of the young lads are all metalers. So they're all metal guitar players, which is which is brilliant. But he was he wasn't. He was a Marshall Gibson kind of guy. Right. With no no. He just straight into his amp. You know, no effects and all that. No, stuff. Brilliant. Yeah. Just sat, what a sound. What a great guitar player. And we were like, this guy's brilliant. Anyway, the, the whole Cal thing happened, and uh, we were like, well, we were all a list of people we would like. Ozzy from the Black Spiders was on that was on the list, um, and a few other people. And we thought, well, do, do do we go do we go for somebody that's been doing this a long time, that's from maybe a, a way, somebody like Ozzy, who would bring the band a real attention to the band, Ozzy from Black Spiders, Johnny yeah. Massive Angus, if he would. Or, and there was a couple of other people we'd, we'd thought of a bit similar. They, or do we go for somebody local who's totally fresh? Who because he's a bit younger than you, you know. Yeah, he's quite a bit younger than us. That yeah. was well, that was a bit of an issue at first. We thought. How old is he? He's twenty. But yeah, it's it's not. I mean, once you get over sort of eighteen, who cares yeah. how old you are, innit? Yeah. We we thought we thought at first we thought maybe twenty. Oh, that's that's young. That's a bit young that. But how long has he been in now? How long has he been in the band? Yeah. Since since the library gig, that was his uh, that was his ah, second right. or third gig, I think. Right. It was around that around that time, right. November. Yeah. Oh yeah, we thought, oh, do we go for somebody somebody local who can who can come to practice because somebody from away might be great for a bit of PR or be great at gigs and stuff. But they're always going to be that person from another band, you know. Or, like, distance-wise, what if they can't get to Yeah, well, they can't, can't, get, to, can't get to practice, they can't contribute to yeah. songwriting, so, we were like, let's ask this Steve, and he was, uh, yeah, keen as mustard. So did you just, did you have an audition and that was it? Yeah, well, well, yeah, we he, he learned, um, he was actually going to stand in. We said, well, would you mind standing in while we find somebody for the next few gigs? I stood in a gig in Blackpool, the library, and another gig. And we were just like, wow, this guy's ace. He's learned all the songs really fast. He's really great. Why don't we just ask him anyway <laughs> if, if he wants to do it? Yeah, it, we were we were thinking of asking him anyway. Right. So it was kind. Of, it was, I suppose it was kind of a, an audition. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But and he, uh, just, and he just fit right. He just away. fit right in. Yeah. So how's it been since then? Brilliant. Amazing. Good crack as well. Yeah, he's, he's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, he's a top guy. Yeah. Does he get? Does he get? Do you pick on him because he's the young lad? <laughs> <laughs> he picks on us. He picks on me. No, I do it. No, none of that goes on. It's all good crack, yeah. So it's, it's it's like uh, it just just fit in, it's just fit in straight away. So he he was just before the whole era, not long before the whole era. Or was that already on the cards when he joined? Uh, God, now you're asking. No, the era the era thing was had been that had all started. We hadn't we hadn't signed anything, right. but um, they, they, they were talking to them right. before he before he joined. The, the the whole thing happened halfway through talking to era really. Right. Okay. Yeah. So he's yeah I've I've not I don't think I've I've not seen you since he's joined I don't think. No, he's he's good like yeah, yeah. He's, he's great I'm yeah he's, re he's really he's really, really he's really thrown himself into it as well like performance wise. I mean it's fair to, it's fair to say that the band he was in Loose Fuse was a was it was his sort of um, a local sort of originals um, right. you know they were just got starting out for me it's mm. just you know having crack and and I don't he'd never done anything well, like, like what we do uh, but you no know, he's totally thrown himself into it. Yeah, he, he's like a madman on stage. Yeah. So is he classes lead or rhythm guitar? Does he do solos yeah, as well? He, he, no, he, play, he plays. He plays rhythm, but um, I, we're too, yeah, no, he, we 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 played a few covers with him, and he's played lead. He's right. fantastic. He can do anything. The lad, the lad is fantastic. So does he contribute songwriting wise, or did he have all the songs? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, oh, um, I got about ninety five percent of the songs done, uh, and I think he contributed a little bit. Right. Some some great like, I'm not going to pretend I know what I'm talking about with guitars, but. He really plays well with uh, with Adam. Contra you know, he's, okay. he's come up with some great pieces of his own to go in the music. Right, he's not written yeah. any standout. He's not written any riffs or, or yeah, just stuff to go with stuff, stuff, layers he, and stuff. He, yeah, that's it. He plays his like harmonies and stuff. He's he's cool. really really great. Yeah, like. it looks from from the outside. It looks like it's just a perfect fit. Just yeah, yeah. In, just oh, he's, he's brilliant. Like he's a top guy. Yeah, especially I mean, like so that last tour that he just did. That was his first proper. Yeah, that that was it. Yeah, that was his. Uh, he's played the odd gig, but that was it. Yeah, he was on the road. Sell out gig in London. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> About his eighth gig. In at the, de in at the deep end, then. <laughs> in at the deep end. Yeah, the lad's fearless, he's ace. <laughs> he don't care. So what, what you want. So what was the whole situation? Can I have a drink of water? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Have you put it in the middle of the table on purpose? Yeah. Or what? Do you want another brew? Yeah. It's all right, Mark. <laughs> go for it. I should have just brought the glass a bit closer, shouldn't I? You could have. I was going to say it, but oh. I'll let him struggle. <laughs> You got a really long straw. Here we have bloody flask. I come prepared. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Let's all have a drink together. Makes you're making other people a brew. Why don't you just make one yourself? Makes for good audio. Do you, <laughs> does he make you a Take brew? 
Does he like make you a brew? Yeah, I had one earlier. All right. He doesn't give anyone what's in that flask, though, does he? I don't think it's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know. I don't want to know. So I was going to ask, what was what, how did the whole situation come down with Carl, then? <laughs> Unless you don't want to talk about it. Uh, That's fine. Yeah. I don't th- I'm not going to throw him under the bus. I just, you know, because it's, lo- it's the same thing lots of bands go through. A big deal for a band who's been going for that long to have to change a member. Not, not, it's not like a... Yeah, it was. It was a bit of. Um, yeah, the, the 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 sort of aftermath of it was all a bit was all a bit blown out. Of I wasn't bothered about like, that. I mean, like, was it like commitment wise? Was like, is he just not? Was he just not available to do certain things? Yeah, to be to like, be because that's what most bands go through. You know, there's always one or two that I don't really want. I don't, I'm not going to go into it, right? Okay, like, that's fine. Uh, because I, because I don't I don't want and a lot of people on a lot of people on social media after after the fact. And, and, and rightly so, we're very, we're hurt for Carl, you know, mm. and uh, and yeah. I'm, Carl was, I'm sure, and and they was just sticking up for him, you know. We did take a lot of flack about it. Um, we didn't say anything because no. I don't. It's, as far as I'm concerned, it's nobody else's business. I nobody agree. else's, and I nothing, agree. nothing personal to anybody who asks either. It's yeah. nobody else's business, and I've got nothing to say about it because I do not want. And I don't want to put ideas in people's heads so that for them to form an opinion about Carl about something they don't really know anything about. Yeah, you know, right if, right. if I if I tell them something. Then they're going to think about something about Carl and make it up in their own head. But it's got nothing to do. It's got nothing to do with nobody. Mm. But Carl, Carl must know the reasons, and, I, and we know the reasons. And uh, it, all those people need to know is we thought it was it was for the right reasons, and it was the hardest. It was I bet. whether they want to accept well, it or listen to it or not. I don't really care to be honest. But uh, it was a ma- massive, massive decision, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't just one of our decisions. It was we we were agonised over it, you know. It was a a big deal, as I'll you bet. can imagine. I'll bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. But it's just I couldn't believe it at the time. I was like, "Would I read that right?" <laughs> you don't. You don't spend eight years in a in a band with a guy and make three albums and then and then just throw him out. No, no, I never. No, Do you know what no, I mean? No, spend no. all that time on the road with no. him and in a van in a van and write songs with him and stuff, and then all of a sudden just naff him off. No. As much as people like to think that's what happened because they like a bit of drama or because for most bands, a bit of stick or whatever. when something like that happens, it's usually one member. Can't, it's not that they're not committed, but their circumstances dictate that they can't. So, like, you might have to knock the odd gig back because they because they've got other commitments or something. You think, well, how many gigs can we knock back before we have to? Should we replace him? And you know, it's like, I've loads of bands have had to go through that. Yeah, and sometimes that, you just it. gotta. It's a big decision. It's for the best. Let's just do it. And then it was a on. massive decision, and it wasn't easy, and it and it, it it was for the best. So probably the biggest decision you've had to make as a band without without a shadow of a doubt. No, without a shadow of a doubt. But it's life in it. Life goes on, doesn't it? What and can you, you do? Here you are, the new. The new yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's only up. But people will make judgments now. New music, lineup change. Yeah, I mean, people, people, um, fans of the band. It's hard to know people are going to take it. Fans of the band are fans of the band, aren't they? and they're passionate. They're always a lot more passionate than you think they're going to yeah. be. You know, you yeah. think, oh well, you know, I don't know, this is going to go down, and then all of a sudden, wow, people are really into it and bothered, and oh, rightly so bothered, you know. Mm. But um, people are really good about it, you know. Yeah. You know, well, that just shows that you've got a lot of people who fans well, which, is, who care. which was yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is which I mean, you get both. You get the fans who are gutted about it, and you get the fans who try and stick up for them. But they don't know the story, so it's well, just, uh, you know, a lot of, there, there was there was pe- there was there were people there were people who were, who were pissed off, but you know, they're not. They, they, they weren't any. They weren't people that were particularly important to the band, and no. you know, whatever. And, no. and, and there was a lot of people saying they don't know the story, so don't don't no. stick your nose in That's kind it. of thing. Anyway, we'll move on. What was the? I think I handled that pretty well, didn't I? You did. I'll probably I end up with a shit in a shit in a box. I'd arrive at my house tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was brick through no. my window. On fire. Oh yeah, on fire. A you're flaming a... shit through my post box. You're a band who replaced a member after a long time. You won't. You're not the last. You weren't the first, and you won't be the last. I'll well, do, won't it? It happens. Um, but I was going to ask you what your what was your like what turned you on to like rock music and was there like a couple of bands that like you listened to? Oh, it was my mate Carl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <You're> joking. Uh, <laughs> no, it was uh, when I was when I, when I was a kid. Uh, well, my, my, probably like a lot of people, really. Your parents have a massive influence on what you listen to, don't they? Yeah. Adam and Alex. In, 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 it changes a little bit slightly in that respect. The, re, the those two, their their dad Paul, I'm friends with him as well. They, they have been they have been brought up on some like serious. They they have knowledge of the most obscure rock. <laughs> you won't believe. <laughs> the, the, the reason they write, Adam writes such great songs, I think, is because they've been brought up listening to like such weird bands I've never even heard of, and they listen 
they've been brought up listening to like full albums. That Alex knows the ins and outs of all these weird 80s AOR bands I've yeah. never even heard of. Oh, what about track seven on this album? <laughs> that bit in the middle where it goes like this and Adam will go, yeah, yeah, I know the bit you mean. <laughs> God, what are you talking about? I've never even heard of that band. But they're so anal about all that sort of stuff, which which has really helped us. But the brothers for you, isn't it? Well, like that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was brought up. Uh, yeah, my my El- Elvis really. Uh, I got a record player when I was a kid and uh, got given some records, Elvis records. Yeah, I used to love listening to Elvis. And uh, Dad used to listen to Dire Straits a lot. A massive Dire Straits fan. Uh, the the ACDC thing, to be honest, didn't happen for a long time. I didn't. Right. I never listened to ACDC when I was a kid. I made my dad's made me some tapes. Tapes back in there. Tapes. Still some <laughs> tapes. Not wrong with tapes. Don't start. I found some tapes. I was sorting some stuff out the yeah, week. Yeah, I was like, bloody Have you got hell. a tape player, though? Nothing to play them on. No, no, just and look the, at I, them. And, like, they've probably been there for, like, I don't know, 20 years. Like, they've probably deteriorated. They don't even work now. No, they're probably worth a bit of money, then. I just... Oh, have you kept up with vinyl since then? Do you have still... Got yeah, yeah I've, I've got loads of vinyl. It's just fine. It's time to play the damn stuff, really. It, yeah. Bit of a it's ball. Amazing, there, like, it? when it all died and CDs came in, everyone just went, oh... Don't need them. Yeah, that's if they kept them, fucking hell. Oh, no. yeah. Charity <laughs> shops is a place for vinyl. Yeah, that's it. They're yeah. expensive. They're expensive, aren't they, in HMV and stuff? Uh, yeah, they are. Quite expensive. Yeah. They're, they're nice, like. They're, they're, I mean, you do buy them, and uh, I suppose that's got these, the times we're in. Have you had it? vinyl for all, many of your previous releases? Uh, yeah, just wor- just welcome to the world, yeah. yeah. yeah that was on, that's on do vinyl. Do they sell well? Yeah, well it's, it's sold out now, yeah. 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 They're not left. Because that's quite cheap, uh, quite expensive, isn't it, vinyl? Yeah, yeah. D- uh, I, I think... Um, I didn't. I didn't look into the the, the, the deal that we got um, to, to have it made, but it's. I, I think due to it's coming back and it's increasing popularity again, the, you can get them made reasonably for reasonably good money. You know. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know what we got made. Is it, I think it was about. It was about a thousand quid for about three hundred. I think. Right. Something like that. You know, if you're selling them for sort of ten, fifteen quid, I think we were selling fifteen quid. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You do all right. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you guys do all right in merch as well at gigs. I've seen, well, I've seen it with my own eyes. Since we got Terry on board, <laughs> crikey, O'Reilly, yeah, but, we have everything. Yeah, but you yeah. need to people if the demand's there, do it. Yeah, well, that's that's it. Yeah, we, 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 there's no room in our van for instruments when we get all the merch in. <laughs> so when you laugh, there isn't. There's that much of it. Yeah. But you know, it does. Yeah, you're right. It's it's bands' main income these days. Yeah, I, merch. I've been surprised the last few years how many bands I've seen who like don't really bother. Yeah, you know, you got to have merch, yeah. yeah like, I know, it's don't. like, expen- like even, like, recording's expensive, but... Well, it is and it is expensive, but, expensive, but, you, but you, you've just got to make, you've got to take that plunge with merch, with T-shirts, like you say, and, and make your profit and keep putting it back in and keep putting it back yeah, in. Because you're not going to get money, well, other you get gig fees, but you need uh, other... Yeah, well, well so you've just got to keep um, reinvesting your money in merch and, and yeah, make it I a, don't, I make don't it think a, a lot of bands, like, realise how important that is, because they just seem to sort of, they don't take it as seriously, they don't realise how important it is. Oh, it's massively important, yeah. Well, it's your, it's your, your band's out there, look, you're wearing a sport in a yeah. <laughs> old school Massive Wagons t-shirt there. Well, you look. haven't changed your logo, though, have you? Or have you slightly? Slightly. You still use the old one, but... Um, I like yeah. the M and the W. I like, yeah, well, I like well, that. We, we've always had that. I, I like the M and the W, but it, we, we do have a variation of it where it's kind of the long word, it's got the M and the W behind it. I'm not really keen on that. It, it kind oh, of, yeah. Kind I of a t-shirt at, with that on it. It looks a bit... I don't know, I'm not keen on that. But we wanted to keep the MW... It's just an MW, but I we wanted we wanted, a, we wanted some of the words just a bit more clear. Massive wagons. Well, yeah, but lines. I think down the line when you get super famous, you'll only need the MW. People you ready, know what first, it is. folks? Just MW. People know what it is. Mark the super fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, you, you, you look it's back, a brand, isn't it? It's a brand. Yeah, of course it is. But you look back, you look back at brands. They've all had, they've all changed the, the logos, haven't they? Apart from Iron Maiden, they just changed the colour. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but like a lot of them have, yeah, gone through different changes. Like yeah, ACDC have, have, um, have mm. had different ones over the years. Yeah. yeah, Metallica have. They went through their when the mid nineties alternative. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With they the cut yeah. off the pointy bits and just had the. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> people are like, <gasps> you probably know exactly what date that happened, do you? Well, being, no. a, being a Metallica. Super whenever fan. load, whenever load came out, which right. was ninety six. Is that the one everyone hates? Yeah. Is, is it? Yeah. yeah. That was actually the first album I bought with my own money. Was it really? Yeah. yeah you I Adam will like that. He thinks 15, I think I was. He loves that album. I think I had... Like, Lord and Reed parents Lord. bought me stuff that I wanted before, but not, you know, that was them buying it. But that was the first album I went... Was really? I knew it was coming out, and I went Rival to the shop. Rival Lightning was one of the first albums I ever got. All oh, right. I got it for Christmas on tape. Tape. Tapes, look. Yeah, that was one of the ones for tape. <laughs> Great album. I think that's <laughs> the best Metallica album for me, though. I like Is that. Is it? I like that one. Cool. I like I'd one. say Master of Puppets is probably my favourite. Mm, interesting. Uh, what did you think of the last album? Hardwired to self-destruct. Yeah, I've got it in my car, actually. Yeah, I like it. That's pretty... It's 
I didn't really like uh, Death Magnetic that much. No, it was all right. No, it was a bit I, overproduced, but they're not really. They're, they're they're a band that they're a band that I'm always been. I've not been massively into, but always, obviously you can't avoid Metallica, can you? Blimey, <laughs> the, f- the first album's up to Ride the Lightning, and uh, at all laws, and then after that, I just. Maybe I was doing something else with my life. Or I don't know. Justice. Maybe I got into Oasis, I think. <laughs> and then and then they've just vanished off my radar for donkey's ears. <laughs> and I, that, and that I, last one. I had no idea what they were doing until... Um, well, not much. It was Death, like Death Magnetic eight, came nine out. Nine years between albums. Was it really? Was it? Oh, Death right. Magnetic was 2008. Maybe I didn't miss a lot then. Eight, eight years. So, like, if you That's wait eight years time. and you're that, like, a whole generation of people have... Missed you only. ...grown up and then will have, like, this, th- that last album with their first album. Making far too much money, clearly. Yeah, must be. Yeah. Doing falling out or whatever they do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, frigging ser- therapy sessions. Well, one of the first things they ever did was uh, when they got some money was to buy the rights to their own music. So the record right. company didn't own it. They did. Uh, eh? So they had good business because he's some bands. Did you see the um, Anvil documentary? No. Oh, yes, I have seen it a long time ago. Because they, they, you know, they always talk about the big four. Yeah, yeah. It could have been the big five because they were actually more famous than any of those bands about a year before. Ah. But they go. He's a Meals on Wheels dude now, isn't he? He's one of them. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. Yeah, but they still, because of that Oh, yeah, oh yeah no, they still, they're no, they're still all over the world oh, now. Yeah, yeah. It oh, fair play. But they had bad business advice, bad management. Just the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. Really enough songs about that, yeah. <laughs> a, we've had a bit yeah. of that. So what are some of the themes that come up on the new album then? The themes. Themes. Uh, Since Full Nelson doesn't really... Same tie old, into the same theme old, of the songs. Same old stuff, really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in a band, <laughs> being a potless northerner. Have you, uh, have you released the track list on, on it? I don't know, to be honest. No, not not officially, unless it's on the... Um, somebody that did actually comment on Twitter about the name of a track. I thought, how do you know that? But I, I, maybe you can see it on the... Uh, I don't know if it's on the... Pl- I don't know if it's on the uh, pre-order thing. Oh, it might be, yeah. Not having to pre-order it, I haven't looked myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> somebody else takes care of that. Still so somebody else to do that, yo. <laughs> um, but how many songs has it got in it? Ten songs. Back to the stacks on it as well. Ah, right. Oh, yeah. I, believe. I don't know if I that's a secret. It's not now, is it? I was going <laughs> to talk about that. So how did that come about? Because obviously the whole, what's your connection to that band? Dead Squaw? Yeah. Oh, well, it's, uh, uh, back to the stack, yeah. It was... Um, Look, for people who don't know, you released, you covered that. And well, released we, it we, what we were originally going to do, we were going to, we need, we had a bit of dead time in the band, uh, doing nothing, and we don't, we don't like to tread water. We like to, you got to keep productive. it. You got to keep productive and keeping people's view. You know, it's all right having months off between albums, but you just fall off the radar, don't yeah. you? And we never want to do that. Um, anyway, we, we thought, sure, we'll make, we'll make another video. We, we're going to make a video for Nails originally, right. um, and Adam had got this, this, this riff written. And it was a. Uh, it was actually a few weeks after Rick Parfit had died, um, which I, 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 it was. It's fair to say it did influence the riff massively. Um, but the, originally, he, when he brought that out, it wasn't written about anything. I, I took that away and decided, well, we'll write a song for Rick Parfit. You know, thought that might work. And then uh, because it wasn't going to be because it was it, because it was um, uh, we were going to make a video for Nails. I said, well, instead of doing that, the, the song's been out ages. Nails. It's off an album from ages ago. Why don't we just make a, a video for Back to the Stack and then release it and then give all the money to um, the Teenage Cancer Trust? And like, well, yeah, that's a good idea. So that's what we did. And um, yeah, and uh, <laughs> flipping it when we re- when we released it, Rick Parfit Jr. heard it. Now we talked to him a bit like about a few things on Twitter. Uh, yeah, and uh, he's one of uh, Rick's Rick's second wife, Rick. Junior's mum got in touch with us to say how much she loved it, and then mm. all these like mad status quo fan pages on Facebook were all going mad <laughs> over it. <laughs> it's just crazy, yeah. And they've got all this whole new fan base on board just because of that song. That's cool. And then uh, Planet Rock heard. Did you do a video pick, for picked it? it up. Yeah, we got, yeah, yeah, did a video for it. Yeah. Planet Rock picked it up and they played it, and hence the fourth. There we go. So yeah, you got, a, I got you a message got... on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> the, the triangle Give me, thing. Give me stupid shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's a story bit as to how he ended up here today, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, this is it. This is like, it's always about where you're at now, isn't it? <laughs> so do any of the, like do you like doing interviews and all the press side of stuff or not? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind doing it, yeah. What about, the, what about the rest of the lads? Like no, if, I don't let them near anything. No, I was going to say, do you, like, if there's an opportunity, do you just usually just... Alex is not allowed near a microphone <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what about Adam? Oh, which one? 
Either of them. Big talk. The uh, yeah, they're, they're all right. Yeah, they're, they're not big. Yeah, yeah, they're all right. Alex isn't. Uh, he's banned from interviews. <laughs> he, has, he has shown us up so many times. <laughs> Nobody needs to know what he's got does going anything, on in his does head. Does anything spring to mind? No, I do, you don't want to know. <laughs> Just talks cobblers. Brilliant. Just talks rubbish, right? Yeah. If anyone's got, if anyone's gonna have an interview, it's uh, yeah, me or Adam. So generally, be, before like you had any management or anything, who was like running the band? Uh, before well, it got to that level. Well, we've had a few managers. We, we, we sort of... I, like, mean, I meant, like, in the band before you had anyone external. Oh, right. Oh, uh, who was the person who I, would, like, I, I kind of ran and stuff? I ran the show for about f- four or five years, and then uh, it just got too much. Like, it was just yeah. driving, drove me up the wall. Uh, and then, Ad- then Adam took over, and now I think it's driving him up the wall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, now we've, got, now we've got more people on board. But, yeah, I'd... I'd I just had enough for taking bookings f- for things and try yeah. to keep track of everything. It just dro- drove me mad. I used to hate taking bookings, but then trying to get everyone. Are you free? Are you free? Oh yeah. Can you do it? I I I'll, can. I, I, need, I need two days. I'll get back in two oh, days. Oh yeah. Well, and this person's waiting for a yes or a no, and, <laughs> and, then, and then a few months later, so one of the band will go, "Oh no, I can't do that game. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, did, you didn't ask me. I go, I think you'll find. Yep. <laughs> back on the twenty seventh. <laughs> Here fucking, it is. I fucking did. <laughs> and you said yes. So you're doing it. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> that's band life, isn't it? Yeah, well, there you go. That, yeah, that's just all the crap you've got to put up with, isn't it? It doesn't really matter, does it? It's all, all the bands. If you think it's you think it's just your band, or it's not. It's everyone's everyone's band, isn't it? You, that's it. Just what you go for it. So, what what is your sort of plans or hopes for the future? Like, what's the next level? What's the next step? Oh, well, I don't, I don't know really. Just just keep going. Yeah, release this album and see what happens. Really. I mean, doing a he- doing a headline tour and having some of the shows set out that aren't anywhere near home is pretty. Yeah, I'm, I mean, cool. it's our first, that was our first, I think it's our first headline, headline tour, you know? Did you do some O2 Academy gigs? Yeah, we did, well, that was like a triple headline thing. Uh, that was with us, Screaming Eagles, and Trucker Diablo. Because that went really well as well. Yeah, that was, re- that was really good, yeah. Johnny Davis, uh, we were on Off Your Rocker, the label, who run, the guy who runs Hard Rock Hell. Yeah. And um, he got, he's friends with a guy, his name escapes me, who, who owns the Academy group, the, the top guy. Ah, and right. uh, he's friends with him. And uh, he had re- he had recently become friends with him, and he, Johnny had started putting on some events at the O2, the O2 in Sheffield and Birmingham. So I went to him and said, "We had this idea," and he said, "Yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk to him and see what he says." And he said, "Yeah, so it was your he, idea. he went for it." No, no, not me. I don't know if he, I don't know his idea wasn't it was my idea or it was our idea uh, between a few of us who'd been talking us screaming eagles and trucker. And uh, there, there was originally a couple of other bands on it. They might have played one day, two days. I'm not sure, but they, those three bands run every day. And uh, we just, just al- rotate the yeah. We just alternated the the thing. We, we thought, well, if we're going out on the road, we'll just build it as a triple headliner thing. We'll all we're all we're all trying this for the same thing. No one's trying yeah. to outdo each other. We all get a fair crack of the whip, headlining yeah. it, and it was great. I all like all, it all the band all that. the bands had all the bands had a, a decent fan base. Yeah. So all the ba- all the everyone coming out knew what they were getting. Yeah, they were like, yeah. this is good value. This is package. Yeah, this isn't a. one band that we know and two bands that we have no idea who they are. You remember it, how much the tickets were? You probably know, do you? No. How much were the tickets for yeah. your recent headline Captain tour? Do you know, roughly? How much were they? Tickets, yeah. Oh, God, now you're asking. I don't know. They're about a tenner, I think. Yeah. Something like that. See, like, this is what gets me sometimes. Like, do you still pay a lot of money to go and see big bands these days? <laughs> when I, well, I don't have to, well, I don't have, well, when I have money and time. <laughs> oh, like, if would you, though? Would you still pay 100 quid to see ACDC? No. If not, it was still... Not on your Nelly, no. No. I don't think I pay 100 quid to go and see anybody. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. That's just because that's the going right these days, isn't it? Yeah. For the big no, stadium no bands. Oh, but no, not getting mad or anything, though. That was an accident. I was just going to say what Smash your opinion is on. No, I would People I'll, who would I pay that. happily do that, but then wouldn't pay a tenner to come and see like something like that triple that triple headline tour, which is, in my opinion, there's not that much well, difference. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Yes, I mean. Some people have a lot of money, don't they? Well, yeah. <laughs> people yeah, have different priorities. I mean, I mean, it's always. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is always great going to see. There is a buzz going to watch a huge band like that. That you. But I always feel you, do, you should go and see them while you can because they're going to be gone. Well, of course, yeah. If you, yeah, yeah that, there's that's, nothing, that's, nothing wrong with going to see. You want to see paying that? Then that's the pay price. what you want, right? But those people are those people that should be going paying a tenner to see you guys well, with two other bands. I don't do you know not think though? That's kind of what's going wrong. Was there not enough people who are doing both? I don't know what you're asking me for. We just sold out London. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting the wrong man. No, but you know, like it's always venues closing down and yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I, know, I, know, I know what you mean. Scene and stuff. But, but I mean, it. Yeah, I know what you mean. But it's it's always been like that. Tight. You. It was like that 
it was like that when you used to have help people having the same whinges about the scene. The scene's yeah. dying, nobody's yeah. coming to gigs. That was mate, that was ten years ago. Yeah. And it's the same gripes now. It's never been any different, I don't think. You just gotta just gotta slog through it. That's it. People will either come or they won't. If they don't want to come and watch your gigs, you just keep gigging or yeah. just find where yeah. you're popular or go somewhere else or change your act to become good. I I don't know. It's funny because that's what some people they look to some something to blame. Yeah, so, I mean, oh, it didn't do well because of this or because of them. Or, yeah, or people have always not gone to support their local bands, and and then now those gri- those gripes will always be. It's just honestly, honest since social media has been about that, people get to hear other people mourning. <laughs> which is one of the reasons I've left. You've actually left, have you? Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, and, yeah, I don't miss it in the slightest <laughs> either. I don't think I'll be back for the record. No, just Instagram, eh? just pictures. I like Instagram. Yeah, it's just pictures, no words. Pictures and. <laughs> 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 and look at the pictures. <laughs> I like the pictures. Like, like a good book. Like a good book, yeah. <laughs> pictures and a few little videos. I like your videos. You sometimes do a round when you're doing rehearsals and stuff. Yeah, there are. Yeah, I that's, like a, stuff like that's that. about the extent of my. You did idea. a couple of. Here's a new riff. Here's a new song, kind of. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I like stuff like that. We, we need to. We need to do. We do need to do more of that. Eat your rake again, and um, all their bands are great. All that. The White Buffalo. I don't know if you listen to him. Ever listen to him? He's he's uh, amazing. He does a lot of the stuff for Sons of Anarchy. Okay. He did the the theme tune. Some of the theme tunes on that. He's amazing, and he and he's great. At all that he's ace at all the sort of videos in his garage playing <laughs> guitar and having the crap with people and live Facebook live and all that. I keep getting badgered to do that, but yeah, don't know. I just I'm just I'm like, well, people don't want to <laughs> people don't want to know what I've got to say. We did one in London actually, Facebook live. It was just it was all right. Yeah, you need to. Some people have a good setup where they can hack into like a. Facebook Live and take the sound from the mixing desk and, yeah. and See, I don't know it's a lot of about, it's yeah. a lot of I technical no stuff. But because unless you, unless you're going to do that, to, the videos are all right, but the sounds just yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> my my phone's got no memory on it at the moment. It's had no memory for about six months. <laughs> too many photos and videos. Too many baby videos. Oh yeah. And I don't have the exp- I don't know how to get them off my phone, so they just have to stay there. <laughs> Terry's going. Why don't you put them on the hard drive? Why don't you put them on this? Put them on that? I'm going. I don't know what you're talking about. Can I put them on a tape? <laughs> So I was going to say, like, how much has having a kid changed things for you? Because that was uh, that's a big life event. Oh yeah, yeah, it's ace. I love it. In terms of love it, I can highly, ba- highly recommend it. Because is it Adam's got a kid? Adam's right? got a little girl, and he's got another one on the way. Yes. Yeah. So and Alex, Alex has got a little boy, Owen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're all we're, we're all um, all in the same boat. Who's who's first? Screwed. What? Who's first? Adam. Kid? Adam. Adam. Uh, Phoebe. Yeah. So is that because he yeah, she'll be had people four, f- filling in on drums while he's not been able to do certain gigs? Uh, yeah, well, th- to be honest, uh, Dave Sanders. D- yeah, D- yeah. When when Alex when when Owen was born, um, uh, Dave, we got Dave in Dave Sanders. Yeah, you're not you're not Dave, are you? Top yeah. guy, legend. He he did quite a few gigs with us, and he, he was good. He was really he, good. Pl- he played in Blackpool <laughs> for Steve, the new guitar player. His first ever gig was playing with Dave, Dave Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so that was hard work. Um, oh God! <laughs> but yeah, no, he's great. He's Dave. He's a grafter, and he he'll, he's an amazing drummer. Amazing. I think that's helped. Then that all three three of you, or the four of you, or five of you, have got kids, so you're all in the same boat. So in terms of like yeah, that well, work well, I life mean, balance, exactly. I mean, and we've also got to the point where you, you we played hundreds of gigs, but there does become a point where you can't keep doing that, or else people just come and see you for free all the time. You've yeah. got to s- kind of scale it back and sort of become a bit more. Uh, Selective way you play, and, yeah, and therefore so. it gives you more, a bit more time to spend with your family. And I think that's the good. natural progression because when you first start out, you just play anywhere, oh, everywhere, yeah. just do it all. Yeah, but like, yeah, when you've got kids, you've got to go. You've, well, like, like the professionals do it, they just do it in blocks. Does that mean I'm a professional? Well, first time get, I've ever been called that. You're getting, you're getting there, it's getting there, well, nearly. But you know, you do it in blocks, you say, right, we're going to do this two weeks, we're going to do this. Yeah, well, like that's weeks, it, yeah, exactly. And then the rest of the time, take off because you've got to have got shit to do. Yeah, well, you're playing all when you first start, you're playing there. Every night, are you, or every other night, yeah. or whatever. So, are you planning you know? much of a big tour when the album comes out? I don't know, to be honest. We, well, well, we've recently, well, some big, pretty big news for us. Like, we recently signed with, we've wanted an agent, we've been looking for a, an agency for a while, uh, and we recently signed with a company called UTC. Right. Uh, and uh, they're, they're um, it's a guy, a guy called Ben Ward, who uh, is a singer in Orange Goblin. Oh, right, yeah. He he, wor- he works he works with them or works for them, and he's a top guy. And um, yeah, he's got some stuff lined up for us, I think, or he's going after stuff now. So cool. So you got like festivals over the summer? Yeah, yeah, we've got, we've got lots of festivals coming up. And um, what have you got festival wise coming up? Well, we've got Steel House. Um, That's a good one. Oh yeah, you doing well, Rambling Man? No, we did we did that. 
the year before last. How's that? Because that, that's a fucking that's a festival. Well, we right we, there. we played um, we played the first year they had the rising stage. Yeah. Uh, a guy called Bruce Dickinson from Little Angels. I don't know if you've ever met him. Yeah. Well, he'd, he'd be a good I've guy. Him, to, he'd be no. a good guy to go. Yeah, yeah, but he lives miles away, so. <laughs> he's got lots of money. He could probably fly up here in his fucking jet. <laughs> no, I would love to have him on. Yeah, he's a legend. He does a lot of good stuff. Oh, he does. He, well, he, he's, uh, yeah, he's tirelessly promoting, like, bands and stuff. And uh, yeah. he, he, put, he put that stage on at Rambler Man out of his own pocket. Like, he, he, he did that all himself. Wow. And he got, he got the sponsors, Laney and whoever else was involved with it. And, yeah, we we got on there. I don't know. I, I can't just remember how, how it came about. To be honest, um, you didn't have to do any sort of auditioning gigs. No, or no, like. not not that year. The first year, no, no, we didn't. No, I, I, do you know? I, I can't remember how it came about. But yeah, he had us on there, and it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Got a massive crowd. It yeah, did. it was brilliant. And and then it's it's just stayed every year, and I just think it gets better and better. It does. So yeah. the festivals have you got? That yeah, stand oh, out? SOS playing that. Uh, hey up. There you go. I want professional. Oh, failed. Is it? I've your just mom. failed. Absolute fail. Give us hung up on your mum. <laughs> oh, that's because Bluetooth's still on. Is it? What's Bluetooth? Oh, okay. Not for that. What's Bluetooth? <laughs> no, joking. Bluetooth. Oh, uh, Wildfire. Wildfire. We're doing that. Yeah, can't forget We're going to be there. This podcast will be there. Is it? Is yeah. it really? All yeah, oh, right. We nice. We were there last year. Live uh, and dangerous. We have the room at the top of the lodge. All right. The very room. All right. All right. And uh, we just. I've not been in there. It's we just got, well last year we sort of it was a bit of an experiment we didn't know what was gonna so we just turned up and I just ran out and just grabbed oh I know him from that band I know him from that band all right upstairs. cool but this time it's gonna be a bit more confirmed that we're there so I'm gonna sort of contact bands in advance and say do you want to come and Quite. do this so <laughs> so oh, cool maybe get all of you in yeah 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 definitely do you yeah. know can remember what night you're playing I could look it up Sunday so. Sunday okay you'll be back down here Sunday won't you no no we'll be there all right oh cool well, I thought we we're gonna do the days full commitment eh. Because I can't, I can't do these kind of conversations and drink and not get any sleep. So no. I'm going to do the podcast and then go home and come back each day. <laughs> he can stay and get pissed if he wants, but I ain't. It's not <laughs> it won't be that far from here, will it? Nah, it's about an hour and a bit, an hour and a quarter. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad. But yeah, yeah well, so, uh, yeah, uh, you're putting me on the spot here because I could get grief for not mentioning band, uh, festivals. I supposed to mention, <laughs> I? I said stay last four times now, haven't I? Yeah, uh, yeah which is a good one. We're playing Bon, we're playing Bonfest uh, on Saturday. This Saturday coming? Yeah, yeah, up in Kira, a place called Kira Muir, which is like a, a where Bon Scott was born. Ah, right. And they, they play, they have that every year, and it's been getting bigger and bigger. Are you pl- any bands of note that you're playing with? Uh, Phil Campbell and the ah, uh, the Bastard Sons, Bar Stewart Sons. They're yep. playing. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of ACDC stuff, uh, or else it wouldn't be a very good Bon Scott festival. Well, no, there's no ACDC no. stuff, would there? Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of tribute stuff on and. Um, so a band? Are you going to do any covers? Yeah, no, they, they they always have a few original bands on. Um, but I don't I don't I don't think we'll do any. I don't know. I don't know. I suppose you need to check that nobody else is going to play. I don't think anyone wants. They're going to hear a whole lot of Rosie about five thousand times that weekend. They, I they, they, don't, they don't need to hear us play it as well. No, I might I just guess. play some Brian Johnson stuff just to piss <laughs> them all off. <laughs> What's the most amount of gigs you've done in a row without a break? Like how many days? How many days? Oh, great! I don't, I don't know. Do you know what? We, we we've never done having full time jobs. It's always. Mm. It's never, I don't know, four. No, not a massive, not a massive no. amount, really. I just wondered if that, did that, did that push your voice? Because I think I've done five. I, th- I think about, I think three is about my limit, to be honest. Yeah. Then you just I mean, but I mean, off. when you don't do it full time, again, I mean, when you're going on the road, well, I was talking to somebody about it. I was like, how do, how do the, how do these bands play? How does, how does Johnson sing for? How does he go on the road for two years and just sing all the time? The, and the, somebody said that they, they'll, they'll sort of they'll, they'll, they'll rehearse for months. Yeah. He'll come in and do two days singing, and then have two days off, and then come in and do a third. So he's day. already practicing for the routine. Yeah, and, and, it, and it, they'll build the strength of his voice up over days, yeah. and have rest days and, and practice days, and then a few rest days, and then a couple of ge- practice days, yeah. and then over months and months and months it builds. Because I know that this, well, you'll probably know this, the strength in your voice. When we were singing, when we were gigging all the time, my voice would never go mm. hoarse yeah. for ages. But when you have a big t- length of time off. Sing a couple it's of difficult gigs. Difficult to get back up. Hit a talking like this all week. <laughs> yeah, like some sort of pervert. I used to find it if you had a travel day in the middle of t- of a gig that, like, I always used to talk too much and be shouting. Okay. And well, you, <laughs> when, when, after you, again after you've played a after you've played a gig and people want to talk to you, you want to talk to people. You don't want to seem ignorant, but yeah, you can't sometimes. You just no. got to naff just, off and yeah. be quiet. And he's like, well, that miserable bastard is just yeah. gone. <laughs> Let ego on him. <laughs> No, but it's just you got you got to you do have to look after your voice. You, you, so you absolutely do. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, because we in talks with uh, it's going to have someone on from you know Vocal Zone. All right, with the pastels and they make Vocal Zone and they make a tea now. Vocal, Vocal Zone tea. Vocal. Oh, I see. Do they really? 
So someone from Vocal Zone is going to come all uh, all the way up from it's somewhere down south. I just oh, contacted them, like I contact like various really. people and say because they do a bit with bands, don't they? They're yeah, sort yeah. Of some big a artists band. endorse right. it. And, oh. uh, but I just like uh, sure microphones. They're interested in coming on here as well. Are they really? All yeah. right, cool. I just cause I think, oh, they're like UK-based companies. I was like, yeah, go on. And yeah. some of them reply, some of them don't. But no, surprising how people go, yeah, oh, so go on you then. should have a brainstorm session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll have a live brainstorming session. There's some right. new names. <laughs> I'll have a think, see what I know. <laughs> but yeah, if there's anyone else you think Pro- they would. Promenade Music. Yeah. There you go. Dave. Is it uh, Rossi? Dave. Oh, well, Rossi works in Promenade, doesn't he? The guitar yeah. session. But Dave, Dave's the owner. He's a... What's his second name? No, I do know his second name. <laughs> Promenade. Yeah, mu- <laughs> <laughs> Dave Music. <laughs> Dave Promenade. <laughs> that, if it, it, that's his name now. Uh, yeah. I've just had a flashback to... Do you remember when we played Satan's Hollow in Manchester? Was that with, oh, it was with you, that was with yeah. you guys, wasn't it? Yeah, I do remember. What a strange venue that was. Because it's the circle in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were headlining that, I don't know why. <laughs> but um, up, we dickhead. We had the, we had the, we just got new merch. We had the, we yeah, had yeah, the, <laughs> you had the fancy <laughs> stand, <laughs> didn't you? I always remember this. You just came, you guys, were, Flash. you guys had got walk on your way out, and you just came up to me. We can show it off, show off. <laughs> Too flash. Too big. Sold a lot of merch that night, though. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you had young Sam selling your merch, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that venue is, I've never played anything like that before or since. No. It was weird because so how, well. how do you work out? Where the back? Where's the front? Where the back? But to be fair, if it's busy, it was all right. Like it was, it, it was all right. Around. It was, it was weird, wasn't it? It was just like a circle in the middle of the room with people <laughs> like, what, where do I stand? Yeah, they're like sort oh, of. Yeah. It'd be better if it rotated, I suppose. I can't, <laughs> I can't even remember. I can't remember who it was for. It was like a thing. There was like bands on all over Manchester, uh, wasn't there? It was something at the Roadhouse, wasn't it? Yeah, there was. It was a dual thing at the same so time. Said, we sold any tickets? Uh, no. Yeah, we, I think we. Well, we sold about fifteen, twenty. Yeah, yeah well, we sold yeah. I think. But Bianca Dusk, I don't know why I remember that. That's the woman who organised it. Oh, was it? All right. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember messaging her. That was before. That was just when we got. When we, I was like, someone needs to do this. I can't be bothered to do this anymore. What's that? <laughs> Management and all that sort of stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Just gets too much, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. But but there's some but, then, but then you, but then you see the other the other aspect is you, you want somebody you want to you then enter into the world of tr- find, trying to find somebody to trust. Trust. Yeah, and you know, and you end up. Uh, well, I'm glad we got Raz because I did learn a lot from Raz. Yeah, yeah, well, mate, and he did well with Falling Red and that. Yeah, yeah, he's a top guy. He's been been doing it a long time, hasn't he? In the Brickyard, um, Rock Mantic. Rock is, Mantic's uh, taking a life of its own. He's, isn't it? He was saying to me, he was saying to me at the at the last Rock Mantic gig that that was that was the biggest one he'd done. Yeah, and he he, he said it was. I think it was stressing him out. Like he said he'd he didn't realise how much extra work. Th- how much bigger that one was than the one before yeah. uh, piled on like you know he didn't say he maybe didn't look on the outside like it was a lot more work but he said he, he oh, thinks yeah. it, was, it was a real stressor for him I think it's just one of those things where you see how many people just like make a whole like come from miles away make a whole weekend of it and just like it was rammed wasn't it absolutely absolutely, absolutely yeah. packed yeah it's, it's brilliant it was, it's been go- what's it been going I think we've played it three or four times now yeah yeah it's, it's, I think similar it's I think it's a, this way. next one will be fifth I think is it really? Oh, I right. think so. 2019 will be the fifth, I think, roughly like that. Yeah, yeah I think you're. I think you're right. Yeah, th- I think 2014 was the first one. Yeah, and the brickyards are perfect. I think that's just something. It might outgrow the, the brickyard if it starts. Because yeah, it was clo- I know last year it was close to selling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so. that, well, that's if he has it as big as he had it. He maybe unless he gets somebody else to help him out with it, he maybe, maybe, maybe make it a bit smaller again. He has know. Lee Byrne, the bass player in Knockout Kane. Oh, all right, all right. He does, the stage, oh, he, does oh, yeah. the, he does the stage management oh, stuff. Top, yeah. Oh, he does of course. Yeah, what a guy he is. He's top guy. He is, isn't he? That's made, boy, that's made by his brother, isn't it? The singer. Oh, I don't know. Is it his brother? I think it's his brother. What's Dean, the Dean Fox. Is the singer different surname? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're brothers. Are they they are, I never knew that. I'm sure, somebody told me they were brothers. <laughs> I don't mean to offend anyone. Maybe just act like brothers. We'll just just forget about this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> God, I remember. I thought sure somebody told me they were brothers. I remember brothers. the first time we played Wildfire and they were there just playing cards in the back of the van till stupid clock in the morning. Knockout Kane? Yeah. They, well, they, they've, been a, they've been about a long time, those guys. Yeah, yeah. They've, been doing, uh, they've been doing it a while. Yeah, I, I, well, like, the first time I heard about Knockout Kane was a, a classic rock CD, a song called Little, Little Crystal, I think Yeah, that's one of my favourite songs by them. Oh, what a fantastic I love that song. song. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. That's a great song. That. Well, I didn't, know, I didn't know it was them, and then the first time we played at uh, Rock Mantic, I think they might have headlined it, to be honest. Right. And I heard him play that, and I was like, ah, yeah. ah, this is them. <laughs> this is the, this is who yeah. did that song. Yeah, yeah, it's a great tune. That. Yeah, Copperhead Road, they cover that as well, don't they? That's yeah. a great, great cover, that. 
So who are some of the other bands that are really your favourite bands of like unsigned bands? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Dino Mark. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh man, there's, there's loads of great bands in there. I know you're going to ask me this. Um, I mean, t- well, my other half manages a lot of bands and... Yeah. and it's you not, get, you it's, get to know it's, them, it's don't not, you? It's not contrived in saying that any of uh, just to her bands because she does manage them, um, but she does have some great bands like yeah. the, the Rocket Dolls. I was listening to their album on the way, yeah, they're great. And uh, Empire, we've played with them mm. three or four times now. They're such a talented bunch of guys. Falling Red, it's good to see them. Because yeah. they, 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 they went away for a while. Took a couple of years off, yeah, basically. They, they sort of did nothing to do it, really. And then they've come back and it's... Uh, but like, it's like you were saying, I think that's what they needed to do. Because now they're back, people are ready for them and want them. Yeah, definitely. Their, their new album's ace. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely fantastic. Well, yeah, I love it. And the new video with Parv is, is amazing. Yeah, they're, they're great, great bunch of guys. I, I, I've never, they've been around for that long. I've, we've never really got to know them until recently, really. Ten, it'd be 10 years, I think. Maybe more. Maybe Might, I think it's about 12, 15, yeah, could, 15 years. Could be closer to 15 years, I think, Dave told Yeah, me. it was maybe early 2000s. I'd, I'd never met Ross Rosie up until recently, really. All oh, right. I knew Dave, but I didn't know the rest of them. They're the top guys, aren't they? Yeah, I think yeah, I'm thinking back. I remember this about 2002, 2003 when they first started because they used to there was a right. pub just not far from here. It's not here anymore. I remember where all the bands. That was the only there. place the bands could play every oh, right. Friday night. Gig there, you mean? Yeah, Gig, right. it was just like a little corner of a room and just band. It was like you don't really get them anymore. Where right. band, any band could just go and play. And oh, like an open mic thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And it's just there was the shitty PA and crappy amps, but it was, it was just, awesome. Just places to play it at the time. Yeah. yeah. No, other, band, other bands are some great. I, I don't think um, I don't think the sort of scene. I don't like the phrase scene. No. I don't. Th- I don't think it's. I don't think it's been as good as as it is now for a long time. Yeah, like uh, Bigfoot. And I think it's amazing. Mason Hill. Well, bands. Yeah, uh, Fire Road uh, goes without saying. Those guys. Um, but I mean, like the Storm Storm Broken. I mean, Storm Broken. They they, yeah, they yeah. were in um, they were in Kerrang recently. They, they had. Yeah. A, I think they had a page in Kerrang now. I don't, I don't read Kerrang, but I mean, I could probably tell you there hasn't been a rock band in there for a long time. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a bit that of a, that's a, that's the kids. A, that's a bit of an achievement, that isn't it? You know, well, yeah. T- to put for Stone Broken. I mean, I know that I know they are. I know they are. I don't, I don't know. They class themselves as a rock band, but they're, they're definitely of a, a, a. They're not a. They're not a, 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 a metal metal band, are they? No. How do you, you know? just, how do you describe Massive Wagons to someone who doesn't? If someone never heard you, how would I describe them? Like mu- like genre wise. <sighs> I don't know. Well, we, we struggle there. Because oh, we've talked about other bands about this. Usually, you let other people decide, like reviewers and things. What's the most th- common things you've heard people describe you as? <laughs> Is this a daytime show? <laughs> you can nine, say anything you before want. Before nine o'clock, whatever the fuck you want. No, I, I, I don't know what we are genreized really. We were hard to hard to sort of fit into something. I think really. Yeah. We just like playing whatever we like playing really. Which is a good thing. Kind of like not having you know, the, the not label. Yeah. Some some reviewers have thought that was a bad thing. They said they sound like a band who hasn't found our sound yet, whatever that means. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sounds like you want to fucking do something else about reviewing. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had some really bad reviews that just don't make sense? Yeah, somebody once said I look like a bathtub Jim Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, it's not that funny. I thought that was. I thought that was. I thought that was a compliment at first. But he died in the bath, didn't he? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was an Edinburgh gig. That at Bannerman's, yeah. I don't know if that's bad or good. I kind of like that. I kind of like the review. I don't know, but bad, bad, bad reviews. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Scotland. Yeah, we we play in Scotland a lot. It's all, it's always amazing. Bannerman's Scotland, is awesome. Yeah. Bannerman's is a fantastic place. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I remember when uh, our first album came out, Elected Evil. It was generally getting really good reviews, and there was one that was just one star, and it was just like so. We put it on the page. <laughs> we just yeah, said, that's it. You, you and it was I don't know. It was as if they'd given someone who likes country music a heavy metal album to review. Yeah. It's like well, what? <laughs> some, some pu- it's just opinion, isn't it? It's, yeah, well, that's you, you it. Just that's can't it. read too much into it. Well, that's why we, we did. We laughed and just well, yeah, have a look at this. <laughs> I mean, the, the important thing is that you, you're playing to people in venues. It doesn't really that's matter it. what people should be playing for yourself. Yeah, well, yeah well, you know, whatever, yeah. Because if, exactly. if you start going, what sh- what do the fans want? Or what does mainstream want? Yeah, we, we've all, like... yeah, you're right. We've always said that. Yeah, you, you've got to do, you've got to stay true. And if, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You can't be fake or false. But at least if think. it does work, or if it fails, you, you did it your way. Yeah. You weren't trying to please. The like, song there somewhere, Matt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, you, you just got to please yourself. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, I, I generally do. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because you, 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 people know when you're being fake, and uh, yeah, you, you've, you've got to be um, genuine. Genuine, that's the word. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, like your shirt, like my shirt. 
Not wrong. Genuine like that shirt. Right, I've made an effort, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see like any of the other people wearing a shirt on your podcast. Oh, well, good luck. It's good against the backdrop. It does, yeah. That one, not that one. It's I've not seen you. Uh, are you still into your motorbikes? Still into me? Oh, well, I was going to I was gonna come, when I? I, I thought said, you didn't might. I, I, after you, I was going to show your mate up on his yeah. uh, <laughs> Harley or whatever he turned up on. Have you yeah, still got some? Yeah, we've got a couple of them. It's raining over it. I'm a bit of a soft ass, really. Do you get much and time to go out? Uh, not really, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him. <laughs> okay. yeah. Are you into tinkering with them? And sit on them and go rum, rum, a bit. But <laughs> yeah, do you, you tinker yeah, with them and yeah, fix them up? Yeah, and that, yeah, a little bit of that, but nothing. Yeah, when I have time. But I was gonna come. Yeah, I was gonna come on the old bike, but it was uh, not got a very good headlight on it, and <laughs> it's it, was, gonna, it, it's gonna rain. it was raining, and so I brought the automatic <laughs> car, five door Corsa instead. <laughs> automatic. It is an automatic. Yeah, it's wow. Terry's. It's ace. Yeah, it, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. It's like that's just exactly how it sounds as well when he came in. <laughs> <laughs> just assume the position and away you go. <laughs> that's it. When and did your um, tattoo journey start? Where was, did where did it start? When? when? What was your first tattoo? I've got some shit tattoos, Mark. It's a bloody hell. I know that's why I wanted to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, a long time ago, yeah, two thousand and eight, I think. All right. No, 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 no. no I mind about two thousand eight. Um, no, nineteen ninety eight. Will have been, right, yeah. I am that old. Believe what it or not. was your first tattoo? Oh, it was, it was a shit one on this arm. We're not not going. Get it covered over now, or yeah, yeah. We've uh, yeah, have it covered over. Yeah, yeah. They are what they are, aren't they? Just I like some. Yeah, this are the good ideas at the time, aren't they? And then uh, I don't well, think you should ever regret a tattoo. I don't. I don't well, like. I don't like people that. Um, a pet hate of mine is people that. Um, like you get these pages on social media again, fucking Facebook, <laughs> or, or crap tattoos or whatever. I mean, what, what oh, else? Right, what's yeah. he got to do with you? Yeah. Who cares what you think of my, anyone's tattoos? If they like them, well, that's all right. And if they think it's cool, then there are some funny ones, aren't there? Are, yeah. there well, are some, the, some of the, the what was it? The Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Freddie Mercury. All oh, right. Well, yeah, yeah. The Noel, the Noel Gallagher <laughs> portrait one is the best one I've ever seen. Does he even look anything like? Yeah. Well, him? I suppose if you're talking portraits, well, there is a oh, there is scope brilliant. for Mickey Turk in there. Yeah. So do you, like, for tattoos, do you have to, like, think long and hard about what you want, or do you just get random stuff, or Not what? Because really. some people are like, every, every tattoo has to mean something, yeah. and it's personal. No. Other people go, oh, that's cool, I'll get that. I don't really pay much attention anymore, to be honest. I haven't had one done for a long time. I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know, they're not really... Yeah, I, I, I like them, and they were, at the time, there was something I wanted done. Well, that's I'm it. The only really... thing is about age. Like, what are the chances, if you were 16... That when you get to 26 or 36, you'll go, yeah, this is really cool. I'm glad they, they have, I don't know, yeah, I suppose. They, they're just there, aren't they? You just get used yeah. to them. It's like anything, isn't it? It's like your face. It's not like I can do about, <laughs> not like I can do about that. It's nice morning about it. I can't go, oh, well, you know, shit, I don't know. You've had some do's over the years. I've seen old pictures of you guys in the band. Some do's? Hairdo's. With oh, hairdo's. With your uh, tent apart and your curtains. All oh, right, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> oh, as we all did. You're not, you're not lived until you've had a set, you're not, <laughs> lived until you had some curtains, are you? Because it all, like, completely different without the beard. All, like, all well, to be honest, I have been thinking long and hard the last few days about it going. <gasps> wow. Can, oh, can I do this? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. You know, Captain Scarlet. What's it, are you just getting bored of it, or is it getting in the way? Or? I, was th- I, I, was, I don't know. I was thinking about losing it. Yeah, I don't know. I look like Neil from The Young Ones without it, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm, abso- I'm, his, I'm an absolute spitting image. I'm his double. <laughs> Honestly, I am, yeah. Look, I look exactly like well, him. Well, it's a beard, it'll grow back, so... Yeah, well, that's it. But the thing is, though, is you grow it for that long, it... It becomes part of your identity. You're like, oh, I don't want to... You know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Thinking about Maybe wait off. until after the next album cycle and then do it. Maybe, yeah. We'll just had all the photos done. So. And then it'll be music video. Like, Hang on, who's that? <laughs> I should probably get it shaved off for charity. That'd probably be a nice thing to do, wouldn't it? That would be good. I yeah. always said if I cut my hair off, I'd probably cut it off for charity, something like that. You know... Uh, Before it fucking falls out. <laughs> <laughs> or finishes falling out. You know Luke Appleton from Iced Earth mm. and Absolve It? When he, when he shaves, I, I've never seen anyone like it. It not, literally knocks 10 years off him. He goes from looking about 30... He's, he's like a giant like baby, isn't he? Maybe. Yeah, he looks 30 to 15. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's he's, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, he's a nice guy. I haven't seen him for a long time, Luke Appleton. He's been away. Has he really? Nice earth. Oh, he will be on all over the world, traveling tearing in style, up the, tearing up the world. He puts pictures on Instagram. Playing it's just like, oh my god, the pictures and the venues that he yeah. plays, just like living the dream. He's yeah. only like 22, 23. Yeah, I remember him telling me um, it was either him or his brother saying just how amazing it was getting to join your favorite band. Well, yeah, because he, he's been on, he's been on. He told the story. Do you know the, how that happened? 
Um, when Absol- I think it was Absolver were touring with, with Iced Earth. I think it was. All right. He porched him, eh? Yeah, well, they're... B- hey, oh. That hurricane. Playing, I think. Train. I was just saying, train. it's like, it's like we're in a winter wonderland, train. isn't it? Hur- hurricane playing train. Are all we, all are at the same time. Are we writing songs <laughs> again? <laughs> 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 Sounds like a really shit film. What are we talking about? Luke Appleton. Oh, yeah. He's They poached him by... The bass player said, oh, I've got to go and do something. Can you just uh, do the sound check for, for us? Oh, right, exactly. It was all pre-planned because right. he, was, he was leaving. Right. Got it on stage, did a sound Because obviously he's his favourite band, so he knew the songs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he's pretty good. And then he's in. Like, about a week later, got a phone call. Do you want to join the band? Bloody hell. We've got a tour that starts in two weeks. We've got a tour in all of North America, and then we're going to Argentina and Brazil and Australia. And he's like... Because he wasn't originally in Absolver, was he not? Was he? Or was he? Uh, and when, I, when yeah. Absolver started, they were a five-piece, were they not? Because he, uh, he, he had Matey Boy out of uh, Vice playing guitar, didn't they? Aki. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And they, you know, I think... No, and I thought they got... Dan Bate. They had Dan Bate on that's bass it, That's it, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Monument. They, yeah, and I thought they got Luke Appleton in that, uh, a bit down the line. Because yeah. he used to be in Fury, didn't he? Fury UK. That was the band who was touring, and then they ah, pushed right, him from right, there. Right, Fury UK, okay, that's it. But then he had to... Got the phone call, and he had to tell his brother, say, I'm leaving. He's <laughs> 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 like... Unlucky. I'll let you off since it's nice. Ice Earth. <laughs> yeah, joining your favourite band. That doesn't that. No, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, have you ever had that? I've always had that dream of like you're a, a big band's concert. And you go, does anyone sing or does any? Uh, you can't play. Does anyone play guitar? It's like, ah, oh, <laughs> fuck you out the audience. James has broken his wrist. <laughs> Is there any, anybody in the audience? I'm like, no, I'm left-handed, so <laughs> jobs, jobs fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, Baz, it's been awesome talking to you. No, no, likewise. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it, yeah. Oh, definitely. Glad I made the journey. When we eventually get around to a break. Even after they get shit directions off you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you read them properly, they're perfectly the clear. Taxi, the taxi's parked outside. <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> when we do eventually upgrade our setup, we'll have the full band on. The full band? Yeah, we will. Oh, oh, oh. All of you. Hey, bloody hell. That'll be a laugh. Oh, yeah. That's In fact, we'll no, have all of the band on without you. So they can talk. Yeah, I'll, 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 go, I'll go for that, mate. Yeah. I don't want to be part of that. What will happen on that day what, when you bring them in? No way. Don't associate me with that. Is, uh, is Adam allowed on? Since Ad- he uh, puts you in a lot it's of It's a shit. podcast. It's not It's not press for the album or anything. So oh, Adam's all right. It's Alex you don't want on. Oh, is it Alex? Yeah, yeah Alex. My, my mistake. I'll make sure he's busy. <laughs> I'll make sure he's busy. We'll make sure he's got something to do, yeah. Well, cheers, Larry Limbs. Yeah, no worries. It's uh, been, it's been Larry a Limbs. Yeah, that's your anagram. If sounds, your like anagram. A, sounds like a porn star, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he's all limbs couldn't be further from the truth <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll definitely have you back on I really enjoyed it mate oh cheers man thanks, uh, thanks for having me I really appreciate it uh, well impressed yeah. good brew as well nice one cheers mate thank you yeah, thank you very much <laughs>